city time. Challenges. Sup. It's a hard choice we have to make today. Real hard. But we have to make it regardless. <sighs> you have to decide. Whether that's a ladder or a staircase. And I just can't. It looks like both. I can't. I've been staring at it for the last half an hour. I can't. <clears throat> Anyways. Skill tree time. Hey, he needs 13. So the main only gets more expensive and gives more damage. So we don't care about the main unless we can get the side augments. So him on level 12 is... It's not pointless. He could get more hammer. Or defense. I could get the fire thing up. Oh, fire thing. It's it's proved really garbage so far, but I just know deep within my soul. It costs 2000 to upgrade. Fuck. I just know within my soul that one day Did it crash? What? No, it didn't. <laughs> One day the game will crash and tell me instead of keeping me in suspense. I didn't read what it was, but I'll just put on this, slap him into the far corner. <gasps> oh, there, there they come. My lord? My lord? He's going there. Onwards to the fray. Just putting some shit in here. I don't even know what the resistance is. Oh. Oh. This guy doesn't care about water. So the steam wizard. Ah, steam and their wizards. I swear. Okay, my can go a little further. This guy can go a little further. They're covering that. Wait, why did that guy spawn in there? Dude, get... Get absolutely melted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bitch. How may I help you? This game's kinda of loud on my end, holy shit. Alright. It's better. Oh, gee. Oh, gee, it looks like a big guy. Oh, this one also doesn't care about water. I'll put this guy there. My lord? I almost wanted to summon the big, big robot thing, and I realized I can't. Yes. And then I immediately—they are spawning in there. Yes, my lord. That's not a door. That's door. They're spawning from the walls. But they also yeah. spawned from here once. So let's keep that guy there. Unleash hell. 
That is weird. Would someone kill it? Oh my god, kill it. Jesus. My lord? Moving out. My lord. You see, they're spawning in there again. I found a bug. Or whatever it is. But I found it. It was I. Of course. Like a steam wizard. Eh. It's alright. I need money. So. We're gonna kill everything in our path. Yes, my lord. Oh, portals! Portals are fun because we just start, click, speed position. it up, and watch. My lord. No, it's already dead. Ready to serve, my lord. Kill this All thing. All right. Your wish is my command. Affirmative. I want to kill the other Build portal with the murder fire. Come on, Rakim. Come on. At once, sire. Good boy. Yes, moving. At your service. Yes, kill All right. him. Will do. Ugh. Eric, someone took some damage. I think one of the robots jumped on him. Oh. Survive the duel. What duel? We are four. At your service. Duel my butthole. Money Marte. Woo! Yes, moving! <laughs> they're dazed. They don't know what they're doing. Sire. You wanna die? What the fuck? I never miss. That on move. Money. Move as well. Yes, sir. He's dousing himself in flames. The madman. Alright. It's whatever. Oh, there's that shit axe we didn't get. How may I, help you? I don't even know what this is. It's probably a boss fight, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Alright. Experimental guard, everybody. I'm a lord. Don't worry about him. He's Shoot dead. Them. He's, he's as good as Money dead. Marte. You know why? We all for strike help. the shit out of it. Yes, moving. Oh no, there's more. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, it's now these guys, the large group. Large group of doesn't matter. I like Rockham more than oh my god the J okay the game didn't crash but it did that again that that debate. Uh, but yeah, I like Rockham more than Kayla because Rockham can alpha strike. You know he can he can really just just you know I stop the game, I stop the combat, I put all the things down, you know, put all his W E R down, and then. Put everybody's W E R down, yes. and he's Q, I guess. Sire? And then it's just perfect. All right. You go yes, this moving. way. You go this way. Preemptive. And also preemptive here. Onwards to the fray. Keep moving. Right between the eyes. He doesn't need to go up, he can just sit yes. sit behind this rock. 
Orders? For honor and glory. For honor and glory. On my way. Coming. Just sits there. My lord, at once, sir. Sitting sire. there. Going. Sitting here. Perfect. My blade is yours to command. Money, Martin. You know what? You can Uma sit closer. Or. Manga. He's gonna stay there. He's gonna catch up to the others. Cheat, he died. Saya. Saya. Getting killed. Look, they have fire and water going on them. My lord, kill this thing. All right. More of the usual suspects yes, down. Pop, pop, pop. Shoot them. Sire, he's fine over there. My lord. Is that a bug? What? What is that? Oh, it's dead. It looked like a, one of those little flyer things. Yeah. Walking all over the place aimlessly. That fire rain did nothing. Kinda needs a level up, doesn't it? There you go. <laughs> Put everything down there because I accidentally pressed W as well. <laughs> Nice, I guess. <sighs> plus, plus seven fire, a drop, plus six fire burning per second. Hmm. Fifty drops. I kind of want to see this. Or fifty-seven damage per drop. The area does not... Ah, I was hoping that the area would get smaller. You know, like 5 meters and then 4 meters with this. And then it's just extremely good concentration of just pile it on there. Then again, I don't think the burning stacks. So you just get burning and then it refreshes constantly as you're in the fire area. So if you just want the burning damage, then you could spread it. But it's so weak. But at... Okay, so... So yeah, burning damage per second, 17, right? While they are in it. And it looks like as soon as they get out, the burning stops. So yeah, so the, the bleeding, for example, on the physical wave, right? The whole... Uh, get off. So bleeding damage per second, 13. Oh, for 12 seconds. Okay, so it's... What was the one that really said like it was garbage? I think it was one of the poison things. Is it Earth Fury? Oh, yeah, poison damage per second four for ten seconds. Like look at this shit. It's forty damage. And it gets an extra four. So it's it's eighty damage. And then it's another 80 so it's 160 damage over 10 seconds yeah some of these overtimes are absolute doo-doo can't even doesn't she have some kind of over overtime oh yeah she got bleeding as well yeah five physical for 12 seconds uh, 60 120 I'm guessing it gets another uh, and then the ten, so it doubles between. So it's like, it's like his fury, I guess. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Firestorm. I kind of want to see the uh, the fifty drops, just just to see how disgusting it looks. So, 
10 meters, I'll say yeah, the 10 meters is the basic range. So it just gets a lot of drops. Versus just more damage. So this one decreases the uh, meter. Gives them slash radius that doesn't go up anymore. But it gives damage. Stronger drops versus more drops with the same damage. I want to see the 50 drops. Although it's just an extra 5. I'm guessing this will also maybe give 5, maybe 10. Hopefully 10. I I'm gonna, I'm gonna check. Let's do a Mark II little dummy thing. It's gonna... Yes, my lord! Sire! There. So, Maeve gets close, puts the weakness on, All right. For and then this guy and goes and... Ah. <laughs> yeah, get fucked! Yes, moving. Fire! I can speed it up to make it look prettier. One may have clipped the thing, but everything else was just... To the you know, no, let's do it again. Advancing. Stop shooting at me. Can we heal him? Oh. Yes, moving. Let's do another one. I'm gonna put it slightly, slightly off, slightly higher, right? Because I don't think it can fall in the walls. There you go. Now it's blanketing him. Ah, it's so ass. Moving out. Death. <laughs> Oops. Ready to serve, my lord. Will do. That's not. You're not rocking. Say sounded right a little weird. Right between the eyes. Yeah. Yes. Moving. Out. On my way. Still mostly came here and some went around, like two or three hit it. I feel like it's gonna be best in doorways, just like the fire runes, because you know fire runes pretty spread out, you see, right? But if I put them put them in a doorway, right? They can't go in the wall, so they so they can overlap. There are like fucking two or three there. Man, look at that shit. So if I do this... Uh, it would be nice if it was closer to the wall. It's still cool. Dazed, stunned, thorns, dead. Bunch of shit around it. But a bit of all right he stays like this I don't you know mind he can can live like this he can he can be the fireman he wants to be and we can upgrade the thingy it gets what gets a radius of 0.5 meters but that doesn't really register here oh one meter. It's a nice four meters. Gets 0.5, but it goes up to five. So this literally gives nothing. Because this unless it you know if it if it rounds up, right? Then this 0.5 is basically both of these. This is pointless. Because now it's 4.5 and now it's five. Because if it rounds up, it's 5 regardless. Wait, I, we have to test this. Alright, let's go back into the challenges. Just dummy one. I have a feeling it's not My gonna change. To why did they Why did they make it so 0.5? So, if I put it here... Like if I... So the edge... Just hits the, the corner of that little brazier thing, right? It reach, reaches the uh, that that thing of the grate, right? Actually, it, it matters how I put it. It's a fucking circle. Oh, 
So they kind of line it up with the, uh, uh, the, the, the colors. The colors are so bad. And they line it up. Like this. So it's kind of like the middle of the circle. And up there. It almost reaches the... Uh, that little stone thing, right? Although it depends what perspective we are, because that's not flat. Fuck! I need to find something better. Um, if I put it on this guy... Oh, I can't put it on it, because it's not in range. Out. Get in range, man. Right, he's in range now. But if I put it on the guy... Uh, it doesn't really have anything in inter interesting on it. Mm, what could be a good... Okay, so we go all the way down to the bottom. All right. Put put it like this. And it hits the... Uh, it's the hole there. Like the middle here, and it hits the hole. All right, so this is the 4.5. Heading out! Kill it. Still, that ice, ice rain is just superior. Now we go into the keep. Put the point five in. Huh? May the light guide your path. Get his Onwards butthole closer. All the way to the bottom here. It where we zoomed in, although it doesn't matter because it has its same thing. Oh no, that's this is when it becomes brighter. I can still zoom. I put the middle over there. Okay, so it gets the point five. It just doesn't show on the uh, thingy because you see, you're still touching the whatever. Like, or I can move it a little bit like this, but then it will even it reach. It's even more in there. Because I'm lining it up with the little fence there, you know. But it, it reached like somewhere here before and now it reaches here, so it's like a tiny bit. It's a 0.5 meters larger. Bruh. It's actually pretty large. So it's, it's, it, it, it matters, it just, I don't know why they don't just put it 4.5 and then 5, it's kind of misleading and it doesn't really tell you properly. And what would this be? It would do 28 fire damage over 10 seconds, 280, but if they are also burning from Firestorm, do the different burnings stack or do they just overwrite, or, or the stronger just overwrites the weaker? We will never know, because I'm not choosing that. It's the day's ball. Not the ugly fireball. It looks like a weak, burning piss sensation. It's the fire explosion with little, little chunks flying off of it. Yeah. Oh yeah, fire runes. I only want the extra rune stuff. Also, it's lying with the area radius 3 meters. Because the more I put in there, that that area radius was larger than three meters. It was like, it was like this the fireball's area radius. It was like bigger. So you know, it's lying. It's lying. Anyways, oh yeah, acid splash is yeah, it's the shit one. It's kind of shit because stacking magic pen is so much easier. So why would you, like, get, like, a uh, permanent reduction and then poison damage? Oh yeah, this is the armor reduction. That's not even... It's, it's even worse. Armor pen is easy to stack as well. But, like, the same way Earth Curse is fucking garbage. Ooh, you get 15% reductions. Meh, meh, meh. Or permanent 1.5 reduction every time you cast it on something. In the battle with 60 second base cooldown, which is a lot less, but 
What the fuck are we have? 92 pen here, 53 pen here, 36 on her, she doesn't even need it. Okay, he doesn't have anything, but he doesn't need it. This assholes have 41 and 42%. They're not even used. They're set level 6 or 7. And this one is 37, but she's armor pen. It's like, yeah. Anyways, this fire thing is kind of underwhelming, but I feel like I will use it more than I use the fire barrage. Because that's also kind of underwhelming. Especially since we have... If if someone doesn't use Eric, right? Then the uh, the heal wounds... And, and his, his self-heal hammer and whoever else has healing. I don't think anyone else has healing. Still don't know what Blizzard does. Probably nothing good. <laughs> uh, wait, the chains are good, actually. Swap the chains. I like the chains. More than the jump. Not that it matters, but, you know. This can look, this can also reduce armor during the combat, so permanent armor reduction. So you can actually stack that shit with uh, with Rakem's armor reduction. Like that, there could be very nice synergies, so you know, these two tanks go in, reduce the armor for the ranged persons, people, who do mostly physical, right? And then they can just mop them up. So there are synergies here, but honestly, kind of shit. Anyways, he's done with life. I mean, not that way, although he kind of looks like he's done with life regardless. I mean, look at him. It's like looking in the mirror, although I don't have these kind of <laughs> mustaches or this bushy eyebrow or this majestic pony hair. Oh, that reminds me, I need to cut my hair again. It's getting long. Uh, anyways, uh, he, he, he doesn't need more life. Like, look at him. He, that's, that's nothing. It's an extra fucking two, 100 and something something. It, 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 it needs mastery and penetration. Now more than ever, since his little fire thing is kind of dooky. Like, sure, damage per drop 57. <laughs> okay, that's absolute garbage. Never mind. This is shit. Okay, <laughs> 57. So, okay, it has 30 drops, right? So in theory, if all 30 drops land on the same or land on the same enemy, yeah. So if one enemy gets all 30 drops, that's a lot of damage, right? Then if they also don't have resistance to fire. But that 6 meter is still going all over the fucking place. Sure, it has 3 meters splash radius, so you know, in that 6 meters, chances are if an enemy is standing in that 6 meter, they're going to be hit by around half of the drops. But, yeah, he needs penetration. Wow. Gains, what, from 3 it goes to, well, he gets 5%. Or he can get from 42% skill power to 57%. Mmm, that's 15% extra. Huh. 55 magic pan, sure. And then 20 might. Yeah. Can I forge anything of his for magic pan? Oh yeah, this oh, this already has its forge. It's probably magic pan forged on it. Ring of the Dark Sun, damn. Blind immunity. Oh, that's cool. Might life. Actually, pretty cool. You can give it more might, which would give penetration. Hey. So now he's got 55 pen because it didn't didn't do much. Yeah. It it needs one more for for an extra pen, but still a closer pen. Forge his boots. I can also forge this. Movement speed. It's actually not bad for him. He's a 69er. These boots. Yeah, that's... I mean, the extra armor, but... I'm gonna make... Like, it's nothing... This is, I mean, it has a lot of movement speed. This is a pretty good movement speed boot. Yeah, let's give it armor. 
Because I don't know when I get uh, tier 4 crafting. And I don't want to craft tier 3s anymore because we are getting tier 4s anyways. So let's just put that on. I mean, we have we have crystals for days. I want to forge this. Let's see what the power hatchet is. So the power hatchet is a two-hander. Physical with a little fire. A lot of cleave damage. With a lot of pen. Like, this is pretty dope. If you want physical. But I decided yesterday that he's not going to be physical anymore. He's fire. And maybe earth. But not on this level because orcs don't care. Yeah. It's a, it's very good damage though. Minus two movement speed though. So. It's clear where the power goes. It goes from the legs into the arms. Okay. And everybody else is fine. Damn. Too bad I can't, you know, just de-level them and get the money back. I can reset all skills, but I mean, it's free. I can just click them off. See, I just clicked it off, because you can actually put the... allocate the points here. You don't have to click here. It's kind of weird. Also, take that out. You don't need all that. Then again, what else would I use it on? Fucking useless. <laughs> Fucking useless piece of shit. Um... So then, I'm trying to keep 5 people on 12. Or, eh, although they don't need to go up to 15. Like, only, like, Eric and Kayla need to go up to 15. Oh, actually, no. It's not even Eric. It's it's Kane and Kayla. It's Kane with the uh, invulnerability aura. Let's do the rest of the challenges might, while, while we're here. Just Might as well just get all that money in yes. here. Oh, no. Whoa! Three of them are trapped. Okay, so who's the... We got Eric, we got Maeve, and he can stay in the cage. <laughs> Alright, so obviously you're going to get... Oh. Now you're going to get Eric out. Advancing. This fucking thing. Alright. And put the thing on him. You're also on my way. Back. Oh shit. Okay, she's, yes. she's freedom. Goes and attacks that. Everybody go and attack that. At once, sire! At once, sire! My lord? For honor and glory, will do. Get these pussy farts. Yay. <laughs> On my way. Absolutely shat on. Alright, everybody, we're just gonna roll as a group. Your kill this. My I kill this. Actually. Ready to serve, my lord. Just go there and stay. Orders, moving out. Let's discover our tracks. Going. Heru Amin. Sea Samin. Julien. No? At yeah. your service. Go in the walls. There you go. He doesn't have a good casting range. Money Marte. Look at him. He's got this big ass casting range, like all the way out here. So if he was like lined up with Rakam, he'd cast this at the uh, at the other side just barely. Yes, Rakam. See, he's basically lined up with him. He's actually closer to this side, and he can't he can't re reach it. I wonder if. If it's because he's short. <laughs> oh no. He's a dwarf. Shoot them. Look at Mive's casting range. Maybe it's weapon range based. I guess you can just put it here. Immobilized. Oh, it doesn't matter. 
<laughs> Look, he's not even attacking. But his 4 meter uh, aura was reaching. Oh no, it's at the enemy. Oh, it's another steam wizard? What the fuck? I thought we were done with these assholes. Apparently we're not. And they're shooting this guy real hard. At your service. Yes. Yeah, put that invulnerability on on that lone tree end with five health. Yes, tree and go. Mani Marte. Yeah, just put that on it as well. I never miss. Got this tree and yeah. Those crossbows are so ass. Even when they are on the enemy's team. <laughs> Destroy identical portals. Alright. My blade is yours to command. Cool. Affirmative. Alright. All right, everybody. You know the drill. Yes, sir. Yes. Moving into position. Portal assassinated. Yes, my lord. Will do. Right between the eyes. Speaking of eyes, does it reach the portal? Yes, good. Yes, moving. Advancing. My blade is yours to command. They do summon some bugs. What the hell? Weird. Impossible. Elite forces of assholes are assaulting your party. Oh, no. May the light guide your path. Whatever will we do? Guess we're going to just stay right here. Actually, no, we're not. Yes. Affirmative. Consider it done. Moving into position. So, Akem is going to move over here. Ready to serve, my lord. Kano okay, is just right. going to be the beast. Your wish is my command. He's <sighs> fine. Orders? Arkham sits All in here. To the fray. And he can still, like, you know, cast his shit around. Though he's got such a bad range. I never miss. These pooters right. can just. I don't know. The end. Oops, wrong thing. Money Marte. Red doesn't care about water. Oh no, whatever will we do? I guess we can Holy shit he's dying. At your service. Yes, heal Money yourself. Because they all summon bullshit, right? Yes, sir. Heading out. Money Marte. There. Yes. Yes, moving. Sire, will do. Shoot them. At once, Sire. Yeah, uh, water is not really useful. Although it's useful against the little energy crossbows, so that's cool. Oh, that was it? So they just put everything all at once? Oh, okay. <laughs> 17,000. He was just standing there, ticking away at the crossbows. Uh, defeat the boss. Alright.
It's impossible to defeat this boss. Ready to serve, my lord. None can defeat Everyone the boss. Is. Oh, it's these assholes. Oh no, it's just a heavy cannon here. I thought these were the experimental assholes that do the... Uh... Oh, it is though. It's R11. It's the assholes with the uh, the things. Shoot them. Heading out. Yes, my lord. Put put put. Put put put. 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 On my way. Yeah. Yes, moving. Is it just that guy? At once, sire. Oh, they're coming from the same hole. At your How about that? <clears throat> All right. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. They're basically dead already. Whee! Oh, there's more. Oh, there's actually a lot of them. Cool. Gives us more time to just. Yes. Put the weakness on. Put some rain on there. Put everything in there. Yes. I mean, if they're spawning from one place, you know, why, oh my god, the numbers were like 30,000 for everybody. <laughs> Didn't even check the summons. Oh, I didn't need to. And now we have the day where we just give us crystals upon crystals upon crystals upon crystals, but they give us a ring, so let's kill the boss. Yes. Yes. Right between the eyes. We're gonna go this way. Actually, we go in the middle. Look, it's huge. It's the corrupted exo. Wowzers. Dush. It's getting absolutely bumfucked. Yes. So we put the weakness on him. Right. Then gets this, that, that. Gets that, that, that. <laughs> at once, sire. Kill this fucking thing. Right between the It's coming eyes. at us. Yes, my lord. Right. Yes. The tiny thing is dead. <laughs> oh, there's another thing. The Rakim. Can you like... I don't know. Deal with that. Onwards to the deal with that for me. Money not that. Maybe not. I never miss. Maybe we can blind it a little bit. Oh, all the shots were at that guy. That's what I don't like about that barrage thing. I can't tell her where, who to barrage. She just does it at whatever that's in range oh all right so how may i help you come across to here right unleash hell these assholes kill this yes my lord on my way it's another corrupted speed the game up shoot them all right Very nice. I don't even care that I put the guy on him. At your service. Fire. Oh, he sent someone out. Yes, my lord. This poor guy. Oh, he's gonna step in the. Oh no, he got stunned. Oh, <laughs> he stepped on a mine. Great. Well, as far as I'm concerned, that's all the challenges. But you know what? Three more left. Four more left. It's, it doesn't matter. Portals is fast. Just get the crystals. Ready to serve, my lord. Acknowledge. Speed it up. So this is a, a portals play. All right. All right. We'll get do. closer. You spam yourself in my there. Lord? Do that. You do that. Shoot them. Advancing at your service. Very nice. Affirmative. Can you go through this? Oh my god, again. 
That's beautiful. Money. That, that, that can also just go in there. Yes, sir. Yes. I also forgot about the weakness, Zara. Look at that. Yes. They just want us to alpha strike the shit out of it. There, done. <laughs> yeah. And it's not even a, a challenge that we neglected for the longest time, like, you know, the Savage Orcs or whatever. This is the latest and greatest challenges. Although, sure, it says easy. Heroes trapped in cages. Only two. But the elite, elite military mechs at least had the decency to trap three guys. Like, that was the weirdest one. You know, if only they trapped four. <laughs> we, would, we, would just, we would just fucking die. Alright, what's coming at us? A bunch of shit. Alright. You go in there. Orders. You go in Advancing. there. Let's put this down. Let's start moving. That's good. Put these guys in there. Let's move up. It's another tiny man. We can speed things up. Preemptively put that down. Look at him, he's destroying things. But even with the fire sword, he does have some queen. Yes. I was just about to double you, just for fun. All right. Oops. Like how this is the one that opens, the Deva one. It doesn't tell you what the hell is happening, it's just, you know. It only has to show you the, the thing. Now it opens up properly. Defeat the small, smelly sense. group of assholes. Wish is Let's go to this map. corner here. Will do. Consider it done. I got a plan. Affirmative. Oh, not everybody, Going. just you. Like I click on him and he doesn't care. Orders at once, sire. The greatest plan. I never miss. Yes, my lord. Just. May the light guide your path. Blanket. On my way. Coming. On my way, coming. That's nasty. We don't need to know that. At your service. We. Now you can go. We. <laughs> Come <Money> back. <laughs> My lord. Fire! Look at that. Poor guy's dazed walking around in the field of fire. Oh, he's fucking dead. Yes. He just goes in there, thorns is them to death, and then comes back. Dude. It's amazing. Yes, Put more, more garbage there. Summon more shit on the field. Consider it done. Sire. My guy's dazed and now slowed. Oh, he doesn't yes, know. What are you doing to us? Yeah, thorns. Amazing. One more challenge left and we can't even see what it is. Whoa. It's just... Oh, more trapped champions. Oh yeah, this is the one that just didn't do it yet. So they trapped the tanks and left the damage dealers out. Why is he all over there? Who's that? Fuck him! He will stay in that fucking cage. Right between the eyes. All right. You gotta free our boy. Free our homeboy. 
Don't worry, Rock Cam, we're coming. Fuck that guy. Yes, my lord. Kill this thing. Money not die. Yes. If we did it. I mean, collectively going to just mob things. Who wants some? How may I help? Get in there. I never miss. He's to get up back oh. here. Rockham is going to just stand in front because you know he's cool. Bonk. <laughs> this poor thing. Look at him. Oh no, I don't know what's happening to me. Blech. Yeah, you see, he's, he's just Hero CC me. everywhere. He's on the front. There he gets some healing. Right between the eyes. Yes. Money. I don't know what the summons are doing down there, but it doesn't matter. They're doing their best. My lord? I'm sure of it. You only need to see this area. See? There, dazed. Yes. Mani Marte. Heal that water elemental, yeah. I take care of my summons. Good care. Orders? <laughs> Something gonna come through there? No? Oh no, we have someone with range. They thought they could ex escape the fire. No one escapes the fire. Right between the eyes. Weakness. Some shit. No, nothing came out from there, I think. But money not die. I guess Connie can still be useful by. Uh... What the hell? Lord? What are you doing? <laughs> uh, just put everything on that poor guy. Hey, Chalange, is it done? Uh... We need the uh, the next one is probably going to be the techno orcs. We don't have those yet, but now we have six thousand monies again, so I can actually upgrade all of these buildings in one go because they all need two thousand. And we're still like one guy would go up to twelve. And while my was the uh, top priority for a long time because you know crits and all that, and then Eric became top priority. Now my Eve is just very content on 10, because she doesn't need to go higher. She can get much higher. So high, but she only needs to go to 14, and we don't have access to 14, so it's 14 or nothing. So she's going to stay 10 forever. Young forever! Alright. Let's do a big save once we get... Actually, let's do a big save now, because... You know, yesterday, when I loaded in... The tower, it just crashed. I don't want it to crash now. After all that. We actually got some stuff. We got the ring, the exotic band of void resistance, armor penetration. Okay, so this is pretty much good for her. Better than the cursed ring already. Void resi, more health, more mana. That's health regen, but she doesn't need it. And more mana regen. 1.9. Yeah, so the cursed ring. Bam, 6.7 mana. It go up, goes up to 380 whatever. Her damage stays the same, her penetration stays the same, but she gets void resistance, which is nice. So the Cursed Ring. Basically the Mystic Ring, but worse, because it has all these negatives. It gives 3 health regen, but she really doesn't need it. And I can actually... what can I put on the Mystic Ring? Oh, nothing interesting. Huh? That sucks. It's just the usual things. So, Cursed Ring. What do you have, Kayla? So that's 5-5. Five, five. That's 8-8. Eight, eight, so that's better. Remastery, though. Hmm. Mastery gives her construct some damage. We could enchant it, too. 
We got the health increase and the restore summon. I still don't know what the fuck that is. That's the last thing we don't we don't know because we got the hand armor or the hand enchant, the attack speed. Ringu is the last unknown. Oh wait, did I? Wait a minute, did I pull it? Did I make something disappear? Anyway, what the fuck happened? Why am I just... I'm just tripping. Okay, I'm just tripping. It's fine. False alarm. So yeah, this is okay, but... What's the free mastery do? 62... Oh, that's 8%. It's not bad. And this is what? 8-8. Eight, eight. It's already good enough. Because no one else cares about armor penetration. Actually, this guy cares about magic penetration. And this guy cares about magic penetration as well. Never mind. Wait a minute. What do you have? 50 mana, 1% mana regen, and 3 mastery. Uh, that's pretty... That's basically his regen ring. Yeah. <laughs> and this is, already has the 8%. Oh, with 20% magic pen, the trickster's ring. Minus 8 armor. Oh, that's why he doesn't have armor. Gives cooldown. Oh yeah, that's pretty dope. He doesn't need that extra 100 mana. Okay, so he's sad. Resistances, blind immunity. I'll keep the blind immunity on him. I don't know what blind does. Is that like a... Okay, we have a story. We have a bestiary. Where the besties are. And quests. But we don't know what the status effects actually do. Like, uh, I mean, I could get to, the, to ask in the Discord. Like, hey! What the fuck does blind do? You know, it, it, they might... Say that blind only uh, makes your uh, your physical and your ranged and melee basic attacks miss. You know, in, in that case, blind immunity is completely fucking useless. But if it also makes your skills miss, which is kind of weird, but I mean, it can happen. I mean, in Grim Dawn, it happens. You can miss your skills. And I hate that in Grim Dawn, but. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna look it up. What the fuck does Blind do in Tower of Time? Because if it's just the basic attack, then I don't care about it on Rakim. What is Blind status? Day stun, Blind slow. What the fuck do we do? This guy has the right questions. What do these status effects do? What the hell is the difference? And one of the devs answered. That's what I like. I like when the devs actually fucking tell you if you ask. Blind. Enemies miss weapon attacks, but can cast spells and also move around normally. Okay, so it's just the basic attacks. Alright, so blind immunity is fucking useless on them. It's actually useless on on Kane, on Eric, and on Rakem. Only the, uh, you know, the shooty shooty person and the other shooty shooty person. The range gir ranger girls, they, they care about blind immunity, but yeah. Stun. Enemies cannot move or cast spells. Yeah, they're completely stunned. Days. Enemies wander aimlessly. It's just basically stunned, but they move around. Randomly. That's why stun is better than days. But days is funnier, because they just... <laughs> they're just like, oh, what the fuck? Slow. Enemies move slower, up to 90%. But they can attack and cast, of course. And slow is just movement speed, not attack speed, so... The fucking slow aura on some of the things, like the uh, Kane's walk and do slow aura, that's kind of useless. Uh, Boron, I think, has a slow aura on his wall. So it's either, I think it's either, oh no, he's, he has a weakness. It's weakness or uh, frost over time. Yeah, alright, so. So blind immunity on Rakam is kind of fucking pointless. What else does he get with this? Three might and two life. Okay, might is good because of penetration now. Then again, how much penetration? Two penetration. So that's that three might is vastly inferior compared to this 8% penetration. What is this thing? Health, mana? That 60 mana is needed on him. Yeah. Making him into a spellcaster because it's fun. 0.5 mono regen. Yeah, this is his mono ring. Yeah, without that, he's kind of... That's kind of low, and that's kind of low. But he wants to keep it. But I think I'm gonna replace the blind immunity ring with the uh, penetration ring. 
It's fine if he loses some health and health regen. He's got enough health. And he can increase his own defenses, because this thing also gives armor. Yeah, 24 armor. Bunch of stuff. Not for water, though. But for that, we have Kane, so, you know. And also the healing totem. I keep forgetting that the healing totem has uh, elemental resist. So yeah, this is minus 2%, so we get 6% magic penetration. Actually, more than 6%. How? 53. Nine? This is 2%. So if we lower it by 2%, but increases it by... But increase it by 8%. So that's... Plus 6%. 55 plus 6. I think that's... 61. Eh? 53. 53 plus 8%. Uh, where's the extra 2% coming from? Armor, magic, health, health regen, mono regen. It's got nothing that... What? Like his skill power and his might doesn't go up. That's a weird one, but I'm not gonna complain. He gets an extra 2% from somewhere. It's pretty dope. Less mana regen though, which is which is probably the worst on that. What did I forge on this? Mana regen, oh yeah. Because <laughs> it was minus one, yeah. Good thinking me. And we have this blind immune ring. I guess Boron can take it. He's got the Daze immunity, he's got the the blind immunity. Some shitty ring of regeneration. <laughs> Alright, and we also got a amulet. Some resistances, not nearly noticeable at this point. Health regen and mana or health and mana points. And 12% skill power increase, which is not bad. But he's got better regen and better resistances. What about you? What do you have? Regens, attack speed, cooldown, oh, and more regen. Oh wow, this is also his regen thing. He loses these two things, and he's fucked. OS needs skill power. Guess she needs skill power. Holy shit! Yeah, that's not gonna get changed out, that's for sure. What about you? Is that your regen amulet? That's sure. It's your region. Yeah. A goodbye skill power ring or amulet. Kinda sucks. Especially since it cannot get the life force spirit inside it because it's a uh, yellow without the slot. So, yeah. Ah, oh, there are a bunch of things I want to forge on this guy. Also, he almost has all blue tier fours. Uh, why didn't I not give him the. Uh, Oh, thorns, of course. He would lose the 35% thorns. <laughs> Sheet day. Alright, back to the tower we go. We do another big save. And also a quick save. And now, welcome back to the stream. We finally come here. I did the challenges and min-maxing for an hour. Holy shit. But we're done. How the hell did it last an hour? Right, we, that's that was the third lever, I think. We should complete this circle on this tier, or this layer, or ring. Are you fucking kidding me? The teleporter was right there. I can't see it. So I guess I stopped at a very uh, good time yesterday, because I was like, yeah, I'm gonna stop at the next teleporter. It was right there. It was right there, man. What the fuck? Proteus' note. Ooh, a parchment in Proteus' sigil, it reads. It has been 300 years. I don't know why, but I get yawny whenever I read out loud. Like, I can talk and talk and talk and not yawn, but when I read something out loud, I just get yawny. I don't know why. I... I'm just built different. I guess. It has been 300 years since I've lost the war and the 
took upon myself the eternal duty of guarding the portal. The technology and magic provided too weak to fight the Gorgante's creations, the shadow construct. For the last hundred years I have been working on this problem and I found a solution, albeit not a perfect one. They're gonna sacrifice a, th sacrifice a, a thousand mages and then slam dunk the tower into the ground. Hell yeah. <laughs> a combined adamantine, adamantine, adamantium <laughs> with the energy force of Organthe, the void element, getting a new ally in the process. Melt! XCOM, baby! <laughs> now we got XCOM in this. Add it to the fucking list. Get the meld. We gotta get the meld. So the, the tier 4 is meld. <laughs> Weapons and armor crafted from meld are far superior to anything we had before. Yeah, tell me about it. We can have mechs now. Armor can withstand blows from crystal golems and blades can inflict and, and blades and can inflict terrible wounds which consume the opponent from the inside. Wait, the armor does all this? I mean, we know thorns exist, but goddamn, consume from the inside, what kind of armor is that? There is our one significant drawback, the alloy feeds on the life force of the user directly. So negative health regen, we can deal with that, we have healing. It cra I crafted several experimental pieces, but so far I was unable to find a way to negate it. Here we go again, yawning! The knowledge of meld crafting is too dangerous to write down and leave unattended. Fuck you! Fuck you! So it's somewhere. It's somewhere around, but something is probably guarding it. Also, is that a knife? It's some kind of... That's another lightsaber. It's it's the silver one. I used the silver lightsaber in... Uh, in fucking... That, that Star Wars role-playing game. Not the online one, but the ones before. The Swatter. Swatter! Swatter! Uh, I was a dual wielder, obviously. Seek me below and I will impart it, should you prove worthy in my eyes. Is tier 4 going to be New Game Plus? Fuck. The last page is signed with a single letter, penis. I had to say penis, obviously. It's a relic chest, it's a very fancy relic chest. It has legs, it has spikes on it, it has chains on it. Is this a mimic? Are the mimics returning? Nah, fuck. It's in the one-handed gun. Tier 5 gun! Mm. Spectral Melt Pistol. Okay, Melt is tier 5. So we will not be able to craft Melt. Unless it kind of unlocks, but I don't see a space for it in this very, very padded... <laughs> Although it's nicely spaced out, it's fine. We won't have... Won't have meld. What is tier four? I think we have tier. F Actually, we do have a bunch of tier four. What is tier four? Adamantine. Oh yeah, adamantine is the tier four. So he will impart the the, the formula. It's definitely not going to do it for us. Piece of shit. Spectral melt pistol. So it does physical, and the spectral is less regeneration, but more mana per hit. Oh no, it's meld, so it has less regen. But not just health, it, it consumes mana regen as well. Oh, that's kinda nasty. Kinda nasty. 3 mana per hit, 16% crit chance that we can top up. 19 pen. So it's comparing it to the big, big devastating hand cannon. What's this thing? Oh my god, this sucks. Why do I have this? Oh yeah, it had better crit. 16 pen, 24 crit. 19 pen, 16 crit. Can I make this 24 crit? 6 extra crit, so 22 crit is what I can give it. Which is enough, because she will still be on the, the hundo. Actually, yeah, I don't need to upgrade it. She's still on a hundo with it. So that's 96.7. 80 Garbage 91 Oops, what am I doing? Whoops, whoops, I got confused for a second. So we're getting rid of this thing. Armor pen. Yes, yeah, so I Actually it's, it has less armor pen? Wait, what? Oh yeah, this is 19. For some reason I Ah, oh, because it compares it with yeah, with that. So I saw 14. I was like, oh, wait a minute. But this one is actually 19, so it's 19 with more damage and less speed. 
Yeah, it's like double damage. Actually, it's almost triple damage. Yeah. We lose the shitty chaotic stuff, but that's garbage anyways. Yeah, cool. Glad I didn't forge this. Ah, I can forge this thing and still we're still on 100% crit, so I'm going to give it... ...to Armor Penetration. Yes, 25 pen, 66 penny. Very nice. This is shit penetration. Nice. It sucks her life and shit, but it doesn't matter. Not not like I'm using her right now. Holy shit, she's got DPS. 36, 63. Yeah, yeah I also want to forge this bow. Then again, sooner or later we should be able to craft tier 4s. So I shouldn't really forge anything. Pit. Oh, cutscene. Oh no, something is in the pit and Rockem finds it. Rockem is like, what the fuck is that? So party traverses the parliament hall, something off to the side, catches Rockem's eye. The dwarf wanders over to the wall where he discovers a cleverly disguised narrow passage, barely large enough to fit a child. So we can shove one of the girls in there. Actually, Whisper can turn into poo gas. So, uh, immediately the dwarf begins cramming his person into the opening. Him! With that! With that shit on him. He's really trying to squeeze his way through. He doesn't even know what it is. Oh no, wait! He spotted Elementine. Elementine. I don't know how to say it. What are you doing, child? There's a glint of metal at the end of this corridor. I see nothing beyond the torchlight. Light. Ugh. But dark and cold. Because you're frozen. I tell you, there's metal there. Ah, I have a feeling it's in a mentee. Could be trapped. Master Smith, we really don't have time for such risky exploration. I'm sorry, laddie. Our people have waited too long. Too long? <laughs> I know the metal's in the tower somewhere. I can't just walk right by. Even if there's only one small chance, this is it. Starting into a fucking smoker, rather than a dwarf. Also, that chest is clipping through the wall and I, I can't unsee it. You have to hurry. Touching Rakim on his shoulder, perhaps Scholar Whisper can slip. Why is there a cobra there? <laughs> can slip through the passage in her smoke form and report what lies at the end of the passage. As if the Queen of Shadows would move a finger to help the little man and his futile obsessions. Goddamn motherfucker is doing racism and also, like, size shaming. While, you know, we are trying to prevent the end of the world again. So, what the fuck is that? Never mind that. I think I can almost make it. Sudden jerk of movement sends Rakim sliding a good three feet deep into the passage. Well, he's gone. Press flat between two walls. Oh dear, what is wrong with me? With arms outstretched, the dwarf shuffles along in surprising dexterity and speed. About halfway through, Rakim comes to an abrupt silent stop. Silent stop? How? What's wrong, chief? I'm stuck. Catch up to us when you can, little man. I suggest we move on with bait, with haste. Stop, you can't just leave him here. Yes, we can. You can be the stand-in. Easy. Okay, see what the metal is, son of Rogan. Mumbling softly. Nothing. This bloody broken down construct. <laughs> Checking his head. I've got a rope. Anyone have oil? I mean, just... You know... We got a couple men. You can just oil it up with your fluids. Like the full hardiness, the more heal of some, to some, month into others. Yeah, but did you get the item? You didn't get the item. Wasting my time. 259, that's kind of low. And it's a shit armor as well. Ah, it's fine. The pit. Watch your step! Don't want anyone getting stuck in this pit. I can pause this for a moment to investigate. It's no other than a pit, laddie. That's some sort of grinding machine. On slip into it. Into that, I reckon. There wouldn't be anything left to get stuck. But there's a long dimensional blade. Oh, we can just... 
Oh, it's blue. Yeah. Blue saber. It's a one-handed though. Yeah, it's an air saber. It's not a lightsaber. It's a wind saber. It's very fast, considering. Poopy damage. It cleaves. It's a one-hander that cleaves. Okay. Magic pen, 10%. Oh, this is so bad. This is... It has whirlwind. Oh, that's why it has cleave. Okay. So cool. 20 to 60 air damage. 20. Oh, reflective shield. Enchant. Sun power 2. Great. Maybe sun power 3 will be useful, but... Yeah. I got a forge. So the pants would be not much better. Would give magic pen. Pineapple pen, magic pen. So I would actually put it on Rakim. Yeah, let's put the pants on Rakim. Because Rakim is also going into thorns. But magic penetration is better for him. Is he gonna get another 10%? He's got more health, more health regen, more health and mana percentage-wise. Loses two health, or two life, but that's fine, because the percentage makes up for it. Gets more resistances, a lot more armor. Yeah, this is pretty good for Rokin. Ah, we got nine. So it's still more than eight, but, you know, whatever. This can fucking die. Ooh. Leg armor. Thorns. Whoa. Although he could go with ethereal absorption. He's not really... Like in the last fight, right? He was just standing in the open, casting magic. I could increase his skill damage by 20%. Although penetration would be better. Armor for everybody. Yeah. Armor for himself. Thorners, health regions, or mono. His mono is okay. Because his cooldowns are not low enough that he can spam much. Yeah, he's, he's fine. And he gets another forge. Can put it into armor. But I think that's what you're going to put it in. 25. Look at him. He's up to 90 armor. Just like that. Boom. I mean, he's still far from the master of armor. But... He's getting there. Should go with the fire blade. Yeah, because he doesn't really need to stun enemies, to be honest. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't... I mean, he can stun big castings out of enemies. Although he attacks with it every fucking four seconds. So basically every eight seconds we have a... We have a stun. Kind of. That is... Goodbye. I don't like the minus movement. Now he's got 9.4 movement. It's a tier 2 plus, so I, I desperately need tier 4 to, you know, craft better fire swords. They are fire swords now. Look at these hit points. 100% extra hit points. Whoa. I'll keep the Earth Axe. Then again, that's also kind of getting to the poopy point. It gives skill power. That would be nice. So against things that... Hmm, although the pen is better than the skill power increase. Yeah, forget. Okay. Free inventory. Majestic. Is this another forge and a blueprint? Oh my god! Ooh, that's a pretty shield. Look at that, it looks cool. Kind of weird, but a lot better than this ugly fucking thing. What the fuck is that armor? <laughs> Good resistances with void. Elemental protection 3. Oh my god. So that's 46% elemental uh, resistances on it, with 10% void. That is cool. Wow. They gave me 12 purple. Yay. Secrets of element. <gasps> I mean, it kind of makes sense. Two forges. You know, this is like the forge area, the blacksmith. 
Now we can forge the force. Hey! When all seemed to be lost deep in the bowels of Earth, Dwarven miners discovered a new ore. It defied the laws of nature. And put in a block of ice, it turned soft as clay and could be formed into whatever design was required. But if you put it in a block of ice, how can you... How can you form it? It's in a block of ice. You have to break the ice to get it out. But if you get it out of the ice, it turns solid again. <laughs> uh, or it just turns into malleable clay until burned. Uh, I see, I see, I see. And subsequently forged, you turn into an indestructible metal. Uh, source forged out this metal. It'll be so thin, it, it just snapped like a katana. It just fucking broke. <laughs> that it was invisible when looked straight at it. It was one pixel wide. It was called Ore of the Gods, Anamentium. Alas, not enough of it was found to turn the tide of war. You can upgrade your blacksmith, craft more powerful items, and when it says you can, it just automatically does it, which I'm pretty grateful to because I don't want to spend money on it. Whoa! Oh, it's the Anamentium Forge. Ooh, purple. It's the Magic Forge. The funny thing is, we don't actually need animantium for it. We just use gems. Alright, we got another small forge. I'm gonna forge this titty armor. There. Oh wait, I didn't forge her thing. That's okay, we can make tier 4 bows, so that's fine. And I'm probably going to give her a crossbow anyways. I think that has larger range. So her his titty thing got upgraded. Which is awesome. Because it gets more armor. Blink. This one also has magic pen. Wait a minute. This one doesn't, and it's 27 armor. Oh. Oh, but this has the percentage armor. Yeah. Then again, this one has pen. 10%. How does he get. Again, he got 10%. Why? It, it says 8% magic pen. And there's nothing else on it. Does he have something that gives him some kind of percentage increase to penetration? Spectral Sight. Oh, Spectral Sight! Ah, that's the one. It gives an extra 20%. Ah. <laughs> so now he's back to a blue titty armor. And less as well. I think. The previous one was 27 as well. Oh, but he loses the 6%, so he lost like 10 armor or some shit. Hey, he was on 73 actually. He lost like 5 armor. That's fine. Let's enchant your chesticles with elemental aura. Mmm. Magi Bastion. Another 30% skill damage. Damn. It's pretty cool. I might do that. Because we got the elemental R's already on some of the people, and we can, you know, buff. So yeah, let's give him the uh, 30%. I guess it goes up to 50%. Ah, oh, maybe just 40, but... That's pretty dope. He's got some uh, more... Uh, skill power. Ooh! So how is his fire now? 73 per drop. That's nice. 22 burning. Eh, still kind of dookie. This is what it is. Also, this gets uh, stronger as well. So, this is where he gets his resistances from, anyways. Too bad he doesn't give more mana based on skill, uh, skill power. Although, that would be kind of broken. But then again, we already have broken things. <laughs> Alright, what do we craft now? So, we can do tier 4 Adamantine. Oh look, decent looking shield. Ooh. Ooh, look at that helmet. What about the mage stuff? Ooh, fancy. That reminds me of Torchlight, that glove. Alright, who needs better shit? You're fine. You need a better sword. Let's make you a better magic sword. Or, honestly, it doesn't matter what kind of sword it is. It, it really doesn't matter. 
I can give him a sword, an axe, a hammer, or a two-handed sword, axe, or hand hammer. So now it's time to look through these again. What gives the best things for him? Is there anything that gives him defense? So he could have Stun Edge. <laughs> it's called Stun Edge. It's a baton. Armor pen. Skill power increase. I mean, skill power increase wouldn't be bad for him. Armor pen. Stun, stun. Stun, armor pen, and skill power increase. The glass mace. Ah. 16% chance to stun with 16% skill power. Because skill power increase increases his heal. Oh, it doesn't do anything here. And it also increases the, uh, <laughs> the elemental resistance we get. And also his little air damage. So, you know, it's not bad for him. It's certainly better than his uh, magic penetration. That You know, his, his sword is just there for show. It's there because he's a knight. But he might go and... Uh, not use a sword anymore. Magic pen. Oh yeah, the fire blade would be the big magic pen. Yeah, it doesn't need crit. Because his skills are not attack. If I used his attacking skills or offensive skills, I might care about crit. Yeah, so it's gonna be the glass maze. Because he can stun maybe. And again, some thingy. But I'm only going to craft him one. That looks good enough. Does more damage. It's physical, so it's not going to be very good. Because look at that. 63 to 69 total damage. 55 to 59 physical. Enemies have like 60 plus armor. So with no penetration, he's, diff he's not going to deal any damage. Uh, whoops. He's got some air, which is also going to be nothing. 16% chance to stun. Okay, he's got 22 penetration, but I mean, that's still not much. But that 16% skill power is what we care about. Although his life leech goes away, but you can put life leech in it. Because I can enchant it. Melee weapon. Soul rend. Crit damage. Oh yeah, that's the... There's the cleave, mana drain. Damage dealt is recovered as mana. It's not gonna deal damage with this, I'm sorry. Life drain. Oh, that's also damage dealt, so it doesn't matter. 60% damage dealt is, is applied as bleeding. But if it deals no damage, half of that nothing is nothing. I guess it could do armor shatter. That's basically the only one that makes sense, because he's not gonna do damage. Might as well lower the armor for, you know, my Ave. Yeah. He's embracing the support role completely. And he can forge it. I can give it. I can't give it spell or skill chance or skill power or whatever. I can give it stun chance. So he attacks. Oh, look at that! 0.4. He attacks every other second. That's a lot faster than that whatever. That the golem arm was the point twenty five. Yeah, pretty good. It's as fast as the uh, sword. Now, Rakem, do you want to embrace one handed? Because if he embraces one handed, I can give him a shield, which will give him more armor for the thorns. Plus, I can you know put some juicy stuff on it. Because here's the thing, right? In some video games, where you can enchant melee weapons. Uh, Two-handed ones get more power from the enchants than one-handed ones, like in uh, Titan Quest, I think. I think the uh, the upgrades on it, if you put the components on it, you know, two-handed ones, or was it Grimdon? Either or. But two-handed weapons, since, you know, they take up both hands, the enchants get stronger. In this game, two-handed weapons get the same, the same numbers from the enchant. So it's honestly better to have two one-handed items. Same here, it would be better to have two one-handed items, like she's doing. I mean, there's a reason why I have two one-handed on Eric. He double dips magic pen. Like, sure, the staffs have like 26% magic pen, but that's just one. These have 22, 24. Boom. <laughs> and they stack. 
So maybe Rakem will embrace one-handedness. Although the basic uh, stats are stronger on uh, two-handed weapons. It's just the enchant that is the same. And honestly, the enchants are kind of dookie for melee. So you know what? No, he won't embrace it. What can I give for his shield? Armor. Nah, he's... he's I changed my mind. He's not gonna embrace full thorns, because he only has the one thorns, not the double dipping. But he's gonna stay magic pen, so goodbye this sword. Not needed. So what else do we want to craft? So he's now okay. This ring, oh yeah, that's the thorns ring, so that stays until the end of the game. That's just set in stone. Ah, uh, yes. Guns for her. So one-handed crossbow looks like a fucking flower now. Which is interesting. Ah. Oh. oh, there it is. Oh, no, they look ugly. I thought that was the tier 3 that looked like the flowers. Oh, I guess not. Through the elven crossbows. So the one-handed crossbows, what do they do? 14 crit, 8 pan. Doesn't need dues. And that, that's shit, okay. Gun. 14 crit, 13 pan. 14 crit, 8 pan. Okay, so gun is better. Although, 60-70.25. So it's a little slower, but it has almost like... Well, like an extra 60%, 70% damage. Yeah, gun is better. Magic pan and the uh, slow high damage with big armor pan. But no crit. Okay. Two-handed bow. It should really say two-handed and one-handed here. But whatever. Uh, 26 crit, but you see, this one could have 28 crit and 26 armor penetration, where this only has 10. Yeah. Skill power and the slow effect. Yeah. And crossbow. 36 crit. Yeah, crossbow is still best for crits. 16 armor pan. What could this be? Oh, yeah, 26. 28. I mean, to her, crit is not that important because she has the skill. Skill power and long range. It's already long range. This is shit. So let's make a uh, tier 4 crossbow. Damage with some earth. And then let's make two physical guns. Yeah, with the... Uh, Crit preset. And then let's check what we have. So slower, little more damage. Doesn't have the oh, cause this is a chain war bow. Hmm. The slow effect chance is gone, but that's fine. More crits, more armor pan. It's immediately better than this. Goes away. And I can put armor pen on it. How much? Extra four armor pen. Because the crit is still 100 plus, so you know, that's fine. And I can enchant it with uh, elemental empowerment. Whoa! 30% extra damage with knockback. Although the shatter is amazing. Okay, so the third one will be like 50% damage and only 20% less skill damage. Still kinda... It might be good for her. She doesn't care about skill damage. 100% of additional damage, yeah. So that 40% gets doubled. So it's 80% times 3. Yeah, it's, it's good now. Because this is 40% times 3. And if this is... 60%, it's gonna be 120% times 3, so... Eh. I need the third one and that I'm going to put on her thing. But, until then... I guess it gets this? 111, okay. But with the guns... 
So 87, 104, 111. Let's do the same damage. So less pen, less crit, more DPS, less range as well. Oh yeah, I, I, I forgot. The range is also different. So I can give it more pen. But I can't make it go 87 because these only have one slot. So I should have made them blue. Because then they can have two slots, two forge slots. Ah, whatever. She's not gonna use them. But she could. So 66. 25 pen, 16 crit. 14 crit, 12. 14 crit. Crits on these are abysmal. They're actually kind of shitty. Alright. What else do we want to increase? These are decent. This is very good. Like, I'm not gonna get another purple with four item or four forge slots. Like, there's no way. Crazy Mage is also still good. 85% skill power increase. We can't really match that. Yeah, we don't. I mean, we have this with 30%, but. Light armor. So we got resistances, damage. Wait, how is this damage? This doesn't give any damage. And we have the mana. Yeah, so none of them have basic skill power increase, which is kind of weird. Shouldn't this have that? Huh, some of them fucked up. This is not damage, this is health. This is health and mana, this is health only, and this is resistances and health. <laughs> There's a lot of damage in these. <laughs> Someone screwed that. So unless I get lucky with the enchants, it's not gonna have any fucking skill power increase, so yeah, he's, he's good. Rakem could get a new two-handed fire sword. 32 penetration. Or skill power increase. Armor pen, stun, skill power. So the only skill penetration is the one hand the two-handed sword and the one-handed sword. So the one-handed sword would give 34% you know, doubled up. The two-handed sword would give 32%. I mean, 2% difference. However, shields. Yeah, no, he's not gonna do shields. Thirty-two, thirty-two, fifty-two. Hell yeah! We rolled something cool on it, and it looks like the tier three and the tier four looks the same. What the fuck? For swords? Wait, it should look like this. Oh, I guess it's because of the fire. Yeah, the fire looks the same, so the physical would look like that. The granite sword. Granite Great Sword from Thea the Shattering. Thea 2 the Shattering. <laughs> um, so this is the 52 percenter, and it got two slots. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, so you can have you can roll two on it. That's nice. 32 and 32. Armor pen, we don't care. It has some water on it, some air on it. This one has just an extra slot and more magic pen. You know what that means. An extra 8% magic pen. What the fuck does he have? Oh, an obsidian hammer and a glass mason. Right. 60% magic pen. Whoa. Plus the 20% on it. Very nice. So now he's a decent magic penetration man. 
<laughs> he doesn't care. He just doesn't care. And oh, the ranged weapons have the elemental shatter. God damn it! it would have been so cool if the melee had one. Um, he's gonna deal damage with this. He's not gonna crit with it. I don't care about. So his fire and earth could do bleeding ah, over 10 seconds. Yeah, this is the one. So 60% of the damage. So let's say he deals, you know, half of this. Like he deals like 60 damage or 70 damage as bleeding. But that 70 is over 10 seconds. So it's 7 damage per second. Like it doesn't say that uh, bleeding per second over 10 seconds. It just says it's bleeding over 10 seconds. Like, in the skills, it does say that, you know, bleeding per second over 10 seconds or so. You know, for Kane's and then Mai's uh, skills, respectively. But in this one, it doesn't say. So it leads me to believe that, you know, that 60% would be dealt in tiny fractions over 10 seconds. <laughs> Which is shit. We already have an armor shatter and they don't stack, but I mean, they are probably not going to hit the same enemy. So I could give him that. Doesn't... Or give him... Oh no. No, you know what? He's, he's also going to be armor shatter. He's very slow. Attacks every three point something seconds. Which is shit. That's why the mono drain would be kind of dookie on him. So let's give the armor shatter. Because, you know, that lasts for ten seconds. And now it actually makes sense. Because when enemies have like 60 armor, you know. One third of it goes away. And that helps... Helps this monster... <laughs> And even more, because it just increases damage. Alright, so he's done. He could get a better amulet. An amulet that could have the spirit on it. Let's give him a tier 4 amulet. So we could give him resistance that still doesn't give the tooltip. We could give him one that gives him skill power and mana. Or some regeneration, but regen is already going to be enchanted on it, so let's go with the uh, power. Four might? Okay, that's more penetration. More skill power. Oh my god, this is great. Oh, this is amazing. So he loses the resistances, but we don't care about that. Water is the only one we kind of care about, but Kane and the uh, healing totem can help with that. 100 extra mono points. So that health and mono regen is going to be fixed or might which gives him even more penetration and now he's on the double the skill power that is amazing this is some power up for him so i could give him some health and mana Pfft. movement and attack speed honestly this attack speed could be decent coupled with the uh the hand attack speed you can really make your archers and gunners and ranged attackers just lay it down, you know. Lay it on the enemy. But what did he get on the gloves? Skill cooldown, oh, that's good. And he's gonna get the life force spirit because, you know, it's basically the 1%. And since this amulet gives him an extra 100 mana. <laughs> so with this, we had 4.8 and 8.3. 9.0 with 18.4 health regen. Disgusting. This is unique. Oh, a pendant of protection. Oh. Tens, fifteen penetration, eight crit chance, tens with healing. Doesn't matter, but it's golden. So Rakam is now a fucking beast. So I kind of. Kind of no need Kayla, ever. She's also a beast, but her skills are not as fun. I like fire, so <laughs> I'm keeping him. <laughs> like, sure, the Titan is pretty fun, but it's slow as fuck. It can shoot stunning missiles and shit. It has the slow aura, but it's very slow. The cage is just the meme thing. It does have the weakness, so, you know, I can put it on bosses, and I think it works on them, so it's actually not bad against bosses. 
We have the void grenades equivalent with, you know, the fireball. And uh, the little stun rods are fun, but I don't like just putting them down. Like, put five here, five there, and then, oh, they are on some, or, you know, despawning, so I have to replenish them. With this, just put the fucking room down. It stays. Unless someone walks into it. It's, it's fine. And I can spam the shit out of it. It's 30 seconds. Okay, it's not as spammable as the rods, but it stays until someone triggers it, so yeah, I like Kraken more. But, you know, she's also... All the characters are good, but Rakem is better, because he's a fucking dwarf. And I like dwarfs, and I like fire, so... You know, I guess it's just comes down to personal taste in murder. Oh, look, there's a tank. Ooh, large hot tanks mm, filled with a bubbling purple liquid. It's nearly impossible to see through the small sh slot of glass. The champions could swear something was swimming around inside. Every few moments a loud clang rings out as something gets slammed against the interior. The cloudy glass dial on a smaller supplemental tank reads PSI, followed by a circular pattern of numbers. The black arrow of the dial points to 225. Damn, there's some pressure there. So there's a fucking shadow constructor, maybe a uh, Morgante in there. This is where they made uh, the meld. But they only left behind the secrets of adamantine. Which is good enough, I mean fuck, I just decked out my shit. Hey, did I leave that chest? What the hell? What is wrong with me? Not touching the chest? Huh. Oh wait, I didn't touch it because I didn't go down there, of course. Now we go down there. Oh. No, we can't cat cross here. What the fuck? It's getting smaller. Proteus energy pistol. And another note. Proteus statue. Oh. Okay. Okay. No! It begins the rolling for money. Six or 83. Uh, it's not bad. But 85 is tolerable, so we'll take that. 264. Hmm. Wound speed, okay. Attack speed, okay. Okay, this might be good. Minus 3 speed, but I mean, she still gets 5% attack speed, so it only 4% less. Gets resistances. Oh yeah, the ethereal absorption though. So we're gonna reload this. We're gonna go for money. Because the tier 4 we can craft now, so we really don't care. 263. I don't know what the highest could be from small chests. 260. Okay, it just keeps giving me 263, so let's, let's have this two-handed hammer. Let's look at it briefly. And then realize that, well, it's not a fire sword. So it doesn't have magic pan. It's a crit hammer. I remember when he used to have like 70% crit with the siege hammer. And he was like, you know, very slow, but when he hit, the enemy could feel it. But now yeah, he can do that, but better. Oh, we can't go down there. We have to go across. Okay. An ordinary unit. Oh, wait. Air conditioning unit. How did I... What the fuck did I... Also, that's rock. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? The beating leather bladder inside this metal box emits clean smelling cold air with every contraction. The metal of the machine is quite cold to the touch. That's rock. Someone forgot to model the air conditioning unit. That's a rock. Or maybe it was there, but then they decided that, oh, let's put a landslide here. Or some, you know something with shitty wooden bridge the great devastation oh another number the hall before your champions is littered with burnt pages from torn from a book after quick examination of a few random samples none of the pages are legible a few feet further down the hall the stone cover of an in incomplete tone rests against the wall its title has been chipped away and replaced with a crude large one a handful of pages are still loosely tied in place one reads the following the following record of the day of Rathorus Prime. Rathorus Prime! 
345 of the fifth era so that's what we need to know so when the things died it was 345 so that needs to be set to one i'm not gonna be able to remember this it is my duty as historian to preface the record with a personal account but the utter devastation of the land has me at lo a loss the fields surrounding the tower are now laid waste by a black foul smelling honey like substance mm, i would eat it it is impossible to remove and corrodes metal within days of contact today is the first day in many days when the ash does not fall from the sky I yearn for the cerulean of old instead of the constant sickly grey curtain which hangs overhead. By the great spirits, what have we done? We may have repelled the invaders, but our world is broken, ruined. The price of our victory is impending. Catastrophic doom. Damn, a doom. Oh, there's the elf. fucking elf filtration. Uh, the movement of the spinning metal fan attracts your champions. As they approach, they see a leather bladder inside a metal box explaining. <laughs> so they changed their mind. I know this game changed quite a lot. Like UI wise. Like all this inventory, the skill, in combat, the, the little the, the HUD changed a lot. Because on GOG, the, most of the pictures are from like early version of the game. Actually, not most of them, but like the first four or five pictures are from early version, and shit looks a lot different. So I, it, it wouldn't surprise me that you know if they you know change something, but with the level layout, but forgot to remove the the touchable text. But then later edited it here, named it something different, gave it a little box, you know. Money. You're up to 7,000 now. 87, that's a good number. Not 89, but you know. Can I not touch? 83. Uh, I would like a little more. Uh, my greed knows no bounds. Actually, it does. 85 is good enough. <laughs> gravestones. The damage to gravestones before your champions did not come by age and neglect. These memorials have been purposefully upturned and broken. The inscriptions chipped away, leaving the dead nameless and restless for all eternity. Oh, there's the main fountain. Let's go to the main fountain. Let's swim in it. Maybe we can all drink from it. Oh, gold. What the hell happened? What happened? Oh my god. Oh, that's the, that's the upper floor. That's the metal bridge or whatever. Okay, I thought this was like water or something. Ugh. Give me an 84. There you go. That's what I like. There's a lot of bats in this fucking place. Lesser scroll, travel disc. Ooh, that's like here. The frogs! The frogs return, but they have some kind of growth on them. Or maybe that's just the pattern. They're orcish frogs. They're gonna attack. There's a lot of them. Okay, that spiderweb looks pretty. I know it's spiderweb, but it's very nicely lit. Smell of wet parchment fills your nostrils as your champions enter a large chamber dominated by a massive stone fountain. The statue has settled unevenly over time, leaving half of its basin exposed and dry. I don't look like it. Unsightly patches of amber-colored moss and dark brown vines enshroud the entire fountain as if announcing claim to it for the last hundred years. A slight trickle of discolored foamy water pours from the fountain's highest spout, spilling down along stone-shaped mermaids into the basin below. Drink it. Whereas a chamber may be flooded with water, and this chamber is flooded with books, not a square inch of stone floor can be seen, and some mounds of books stand waist high. As your party pushes its way, way to the fountain, the ground beneath them trum turns damp and slippery. Numerous books lie strewn about the fountain basin, long rotted and decayed. Disturbing the floating remnants of knowledge, sends bright orange and white frogs swimming for new cover. Careful, those water walkers are highly toxic. It would seem the Tower of Dar has neglected some of her abilities. You know, okay, I don't like the idea that she's out to stop us any more than you, but I've been thinking, maybe you're judging her too harshly. 
If she was created by the Magi, maybe she simply doesn't have a choice. Squinting eyes! <laughs> Just don't take it so personally, is all I'm trying to say. Seeing the compassion and concern in Maeve's eyes, the shield guard's anger towards the Votar veins sighs deeply and nods to the marksman. Alright, so what are we waiting for? Let's get going. <laughs> it's it's getting worse and worse. At first light of dawn, the shadows play tricks on the eyes. What the fuck do you even mean by that? You see something, men of the north. It means there's something more here than meets the eye. This is clearly a transformer. And bats, did the bats just flew into the fountain? Squeak, squeak. I like bats. Bats are cute. Blah, blah, blah. So money. There we go. Oh! We killed one of your kind. Actually, we didn't kill it. Or did we? Did we sacrifice that frog? Oh no, we didn't. We, we sacrificed our health. Yeah, Kane sacrificed some of his life force at the beginning of the game. To get some shitty, shitty. Stuff. Actually, we got that sword, and that sword served us for a long time. So never mind. But it's long gone now. Trans transformed into gems. So the frog should still be in our inventory. <laughs> Can we not release the frog? This fountain has no magic properties. Your champions notice a series of pipes leading from it to adjacent room. Perhaps some magic in this fountain can be somehow restored. It didn't give me a side quest, so. I doubt it. Iron Portcullis. This lock of the sturdy iron gate still secures in it in place. Even after all these years, however, the gaping hole in its center, either ravaged by time or by some unknown orcish creature, offers clear passage. In its middle, it, it's half gone. There's no middle to it. Black waters. Ooh, this is the substance, the honey. A plaque this sits atop a stone pillar. It reads, Many must sacrifice for the one to grow strong. Damn. I remember now, a great sacrifice took place in this tower. Yeah, we know. <laughs> You're late. We read about it. The Magi gave their lives to the greatest among them, to Proteus. Don't tell me you expect us to lay down our lives for. No! No, of course not. But maybe the fountains could be symbolic of the Magi's sacrifice. Test of dedication and perseverance. And the anointed ones will pass. Or it could just be a cleverly disguised trap. The avatar has attempts to get rid of directly from <laughs> Ah! Perhaps she offers us a way to stop ourselves permanently. Just kill yourself. <laughs> like that guy uh, hanging above the, uh, the fiery pit. <laughs> kill yourselves! <laughs> we can draw straws. I am for one not keen or intentionally poisoning myself. Of course you're not. Cowards rarely are. Says the one that doesn't need to eat, so she probably can't even ingest that shit. The insult sends Rakim into fury. She takes the combined effort of your entire party to hold back. The incident launches your champions into a heated argument over whether or not they should drink that shit. It's like life and limb. You feel a sense of unwavering steadfastness among them. If you don't in the real, there'll likely be no decision. So they will decide not to drink it. That's not no decision. That's a decision to leave it be. You stupid fuck. Drink it. <laughs> Boron and Whisper like it because they are mad. They're fucking mad. But they're also not used in the fucking... Ah! We're not reading that. It doesn't exist. We're leaving it be. Actually, we are going to drink it because it might give us something. Hold on. Drink the fucking thing. They're too close now to give up. Drink the fucking liquid. Concentrate. Tell them to drink. I gather before the fountain and they drink it. It is decided we are strong now. Giving away our strength to another will increase our chances of completing the mission. Follow the path of the ancient magi. Drink from the sacrificial fountains. A party step. What the hell was that? A party stands before a much smaller fountain than the one in the main chambers. Simpler in design, tinted with black. Tinted black with no vegetation growing around it. I beg to fucking differ. That one is kind of close enough to be around it. Numerous bones of various creatures surround the basin of the statue. Uh, nope. Come on, like, come on. Just, just a couple dead frogs or something. Meh. It appears that whatever drank from these waters died. Who's gonna have minus 50 health? 
Uh, who wanted to fucking drink the fountain? Brown. <laughs> hey, she wanted it. You're loading it back because I, I want that minuscule upgrade for my party. So we're leaving it be. We have no uh, fucking allegiance to Proteus. We don't need to sacrifice a shit. Leave it. What? Kayla just doesn't like anything. Eric and Rakim likes it. Which is mono regen and elemental thingy. So Kayla is not needed either. But, okay, I want to see what makes Kayla not negative. Because both of the uh, things were negative, right? What if I just let them decide on their own? Ah, so that's what she likes. Because, remember, we can't influence her decision. We can't see into her mind. Okay, so leave it... Okay, so if I don't decide, that's when she likes it. But they decided to drink it. Yeah, I'm gonna decide not to drink it. Or I can just reload. Hold on. Because when I say, decide by yourselves, it has a 50% chance on either or. See? Best outcome. <laughs> I can just save scum it. And I will. So this is what we keep. Yay. Once again, you find yourself at the center of your champions as they argue on the course of action. However, this time at least, the matter at hand is far from trivial. What if the sacrifice of the fountain demands a life? No, you have no right to ask that of your volunteers. Besides, even if the f price to pay is far less, choosing who suffers among them will surely create an animosity towards you. For these reasons, you re release your focus and allow them to decide themselves. Champions gather before the fountain, examine the surroundings in silence, and the Kane speaks up. It is decided. We don't drink from this nasty shit. The Magi were stupid. I feel as though we have left an important memory behind. Do you want to drink the black liquid? You can stay behind and swim in it. Go ahead and stay that say. Right. Right. <laughs> Safe scumming alignments. Do you see this? Beautiful. We just need one more positive to the elf and we'll be fine. We'll be fine and there's enough padding on these ones, you know, they're plus two. Look at them. Agreeable. Receptive, sympathetic, receptive, unreceptive. He's a skulking elf. What the fuck? Oh my god, I thought that was coming for me. I can't even see it. Oh, there's a shit fountain. But they can't drink from the shit fountain. Ooh. That looks more menacing than the other one. The other one is just like, yeah, it's the same as this, but smaller. This one, however, you just know that it means bad things are going to happen. Because it's red. And red means bed. Because it's communist. Ah, oh, challenge! Oh my god. Mana enthusiast, mana fanatic, mana addict. What the fuck? A group of three strange constructs are standing ground here. And like a dozen other assholes. Looks like they are embedded in this place. Oh. They're crazy for mana. Alright, let's see. So we have the usual suspects. Elite Sentry, Mono Absorber, Mystic Golem, Green Golem, and... Bl Actually, Green Golem and Blue Golem. This one. Okay, so the Green Golem we've seen, but this is not the Topaz Golem. This guy is new. Massive Construct, created to crush and pulverize everything in the path with organized iron-like fists. Oh, these are the guys from the, the, the loading screen. These are the guys that were sent around to absorb mana. Whenever the nodes, whenever they cropped up and kill anyone who touched it. You know, that's the guy with the bloody hands standing above a corpse with another one of these in the distance. Yes. Some physical damage. You see this armor? What the fuck? Some penetration. They don't like water. Even though they do water shards. Frostbite. You see, 25 water damage over 5 seconds. So it's 5 damage per second. It's nothing. And the initial one is nothing either. We ha we'll have 80% resistances. It's fine. But these guys are trash. So water is best against them. But Rakem can still kill him with fire. Yeah, he doesn't care about these 70%. He's got 100 and something percent penetration. We know about these and these also don't like water. So Rakem and Eric Shrek these. But we have these guys, and these guys are bosses. So I'm guessing 
Weakest, stronger, strongest? Maybe not? Wait a minute. Oh no, wait. Enthusiast, fanatic, addict. Okay. Damn, they like water. Sheet. Construct, it absorbs too much mana over centuries and that seems addicted to it. Fire damage, 60 armor, 10,000 health, stationary. Yeah, we'll see about that. One of the fucking uh, t murder trio robots was also stationary. But they got plus 6 movement speed, so it just ran at us. So, I don't believe this for a second. The spider was also s meant to be stationary, but she fucking moved! <laughs> she moved backwards, but she moved. <laughs> um, I mean, Eric can still hurt these with the uh, ice rain, so it's fine. But the summons are going to be useless. The splash mountain. Why not splash? But they can kill the uh, constructs. If no targets are present within 12 meters, a large sphere of liquid mana descends from above, doing 400 water damage. In 4 meter radius. I mean, sure. Impenetrable force sphere than itself, negating all damage for 8 seconds. Can it still attack? Because if it can attack it uh, through it, that's annoying. But if they are truly going to be stationary, we're just gonna kill the tiny shit first. Drain mana, yep, that's bad. Energy beam. Fire damage, that's not that bad. We got the uh, Fanatic, Addicted. This one is Air, has more health and armor. Stationary, same resistances. Stronger Splash, same Force Veil, same Mana Drain, and a Stronger Beam. Okay, and we got the Addict. It's Water, even more armor, 16,000 health. Stationary, same resistances. 300 water damage. Oh, that's the weakest. Yeah. Huh. Mother Drain is the same, Force Field the same, and Energy is the strongest, though. The strongest beam. Actually, it's just the strongest that. Oh, they are all the same. But this guy is the weakest skill, but it's the strongest damage and most armor. Interesting. Most, most health. A lot of health. Let's kill him. Let's fucking kill him, because I had enough of that fucking croaking. Oh my god, there's no cover! A new arena. Ooh, pretty. There's some kind of floating spaceship looking ass. Actually, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the uh, stationary turrets in uh, Descent Free Space 1 or 2. You know? If you know, you know. Although they were not, like, butterfly shaped. They were just... Kinda this shape, but less deep cut on the sides here. It's more platform looking. You know? They were defensive platforms or some shit. What are the doors here? Where, are, where do enemies come from? Are these the doors? Is that the door? What is that? We have to defend the fucking thing? Why? What gives? This might be the first thing I I lose. That looks cool. Very, very sci-fi. Why the fuck? Is it in the middle? Yes. And why do they stand like this? What is it? Fucking reverse check mark. All right. All right, boys. They're immediately starting to attack the fucking thing. So you go and blast his Minot? ass. You go blast his ass. Money Marte. Summon your boys in this guy's face. Even the thingy. Shoot them. All right, don't shoot the fucking thing. Of course. All right. Orders onwards to the fray. Hello, I mean. Gotta get in that ass. Yes. Get closer. How may I help? Okay, we can. Can we make this invulnerable? Oh, we can. Okay, that's cool. Kind of wasted it though. Shoot them. She's getting mana drained, so she's gonna retort Go. by hiding behind this fucking pillar. Coming. Oh, she can't. It's a half wall. Heru, I mean. Well, her her resistors are gone. Fire. Money not that. Keep those things alive because they they keep that guy focused. 
And all the tiny shit is coming. My blade is yours, command. Oh. All right, cool. Moving out. They kind of took it down at the same time. Pretty good. Get your ass on it. Yeah, alpha strike. Everybody, kill it. Weakness. Ice. Yes, my lord. Put your Q on. What's his armor now? With, with, all, with all the things on. Yes. Because they are still on, right? Let's see. Rakim. 147 armor. That's pretty dope. And even with the minus 30, he's still capped. Where's this asshole? Mana enthusiast. Oh my god, look at this poor man. He's dying. Got a 185. Okay. His resistance is also still capped. Good, good. Yes. Eric is also capped and Maev is not capped. Wow, she needs some earth and water resistance. Yes. Yes. As the thing falls and gives us a tier 5 glove and a bunch of money. Look at him, he did 12,000 damage. That is pretty dope. He basically killed that one guy almost by himself. I mean, Eric helped a little, but he didn't do much in this fight. Yeah, these guys were useless, but, you know, still an extra pair of boots without legs. There's boots inside the water, floating. T5, it looks the same, I hate it. Less armor, but we can increase that. It's got void resistance, but no elemental resistance. Hmm. Less health, negative health regen, because it's meld. Uh, better cooldown, better speed. Oh yeah, because it's neurosis. And it's reinforcing, so it gives the health and mana increase. Void resistance, 15 armor. What's your gauntlet? Oh, your gauntlet is the might, the, oh, yeah, the magi stuff. Just 15% cooldown. But it's shit armor compared to this thing. And he can double dip the resistances, because he has his own resistance buff. And there's Kane's thing, so I think he's going to use this. And his health region is a lot better than Kane's. Yeah. Loses six resistances, that's fine. Loses some mana region, but it's also fine. He's got nine. Yeah. Loses five percent cooldown, but that's fine as well. Gets a lot of stuff. And crit. Crit is actually important to him. Because kills can crit as well. 28% crit chance. How is it twenty oh yeah, because 16, 12, yeah, 28%. 101 armor. Oh, that's amazing. We can give it more armor, more cooldown, more crits, or void resistance. Ooh, six percent, four percent crit. The four percent would put him to thirty-two crit chance. Honestly, that crit is important with this fucking fire fire thing. So let's let's do crits. Yeah. Because the thorns is good on him, but not as important. He only has the one. Crits. 2% crits. I can also forge this thing. More crits. Might. It might give us 1% extra penetration. What's his movement speed? 8.4, that's good enough. You know what? Extra 2% crit. 34% Oh my, look at that, four fucking slots on it Okay Oh yeah, that doesn't need forging That's that's a backup if she dips below 100% That's only defenses I think Maybe can get crit can get crit, it can get cooldown, 
Yeah, that doesn't need forging either. Who got new things? Didn't someone else get tier 4? Oh, she got tier 5, but it's 4s. Oh, well. oh yeah, he got the hammer, but it's forged. Oh wait, I could try and make... Although that... So the bulwark would be the upgrade I want. I mean, we got... We got the gems. What am I doing? I want a quick save. We got the gems. We could just... Sit on shields for a while. So light shield is useless. Because the medium shield gives the same thing. But it gives crit chance, health points and movement speed. And this one gives health and mana. And more armor. And more resistance. So is this a heavy shield? What is this thing? Obsidian great shield of bulwark. I have no idea. Because they all looked the same. Big heavies. Fireproof. Yeah. No. 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 Can I like press enter or something? No. Jesus Christ. You can play this game one-handed. <laughs> Wow, that armor percentage thing is rare. I've seen a lot of these fire things. Maybe it needs to be a light. Running out of crystals. Can't believe it. Does it have to be a normal? What's the point of the normal one? Oh, we're running out of shit. <laughs> Shields! But now we know that the inventory is probably infinite. <laughs> Will I find anything that gives percentage armor? Probably not. It looks like they are like 22 armor put, uh, max, which is also absolute garbage. Damn. Well, I guess we're not getting a better shoe. We're on 8,000 money, though. That's nice. And we got a new thing. Tower constructs. We have a pretty fountain with frog. Frog signaling that this is good to drink. Betty has any spider webs. We got a teleporter and we get a... Uh... Yeah, let's have this one. So there's a lot of red, black, multicolored, and white waters. Look at that. Everything represented. No racism in the fountains. What do we get here? There's a key. Maybe the teleporter takes us there. So we could go this way and get the energy pistol. There's a fight with a champion trophy. Or we could just touch this travel disc. Well, I opt to go back to the city and check the challenge. The challenge might give us something good. Towers everywhere. Defeat a small group of tower constructs and three defense towers. <laughs> How would this be hard? I mean, unless the towers are... Unless the maps are small and there's no uh, cover, these towers are useless. Towers and portals. A deadly mix. Doesn't even give us a lot of money. Ah, uh, some power three, huh? <laughs> I'll actually try that out. Is that an earthquake? Defeat three crystal behemoths. The ground shakes as they approach. <laughs> you see the name of the shield? You see what it does on the bottom? See the armor it has? Interestingly enough, it's tier five, so it should be a meld shield, but it doesn't suck life and mana. It's an imposter shield. It's fucking trash. <laughs> I'm gonna do the sentry prototype. Sentry prototypes are protecting this area. Remove all hostile forces. I mean, sure. Sunflower. 
May the light guide your path. May the light guide your path. Yes. Fucking paladin. Your wish is my Look at it. Kill it. Brrr. Yes, sir. Earth Tower. How about you go and eat a dick? Earth Tower. Shoot them. Also get weakness. Yeah, he casts. Oh my god, a lot of shit coming there. At once, sire. Meet them. I never miss. Meet them head on. Money not that. This guy summons some shit in here. I'm a lord. Ready to serve, my lord. Me. All right. Consider it done. Are you plebs moving? Your service. Eh. Keep casting, you fool. Guide your path. This guy's dying. Ah. Everybody become invulnerable. Oh Money. shit. Hey, I can put the hell and throw them on him from here. Shoot them. Move up a little bit. On my way. No! I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. Could have stunned it, but I didn't. So we all get slowed now. That's it. That's all it does. Daze it. Fuck you. Okay, dazing it did not stop its cast. Oh, this was what it cast. Ice strain. Hey, I can do the same thing, buddy. It's fire. Oh, he's just sitting here. Whoops. Money. Dead. Money. Right between the eyes. Money not down. Heck, the tower. I never miss. Oh, it's dead. Ready to uh, serve, speak. my lord. I reckon days this thing. Oh, it's immune to days. Uh... Oh, his energy's gone. But he can still cast Dash. I'm an old. You attack? Jesus. Right between the eyes. Money Marte. Right between the chompers. My blade is yours to command. I want more fire. Come on. Grr! Grr! Put your defense on as well. It gives you mana. Still comes down. Oh yeah! Oh my God! Twenty thousand for him. Twenty-six thousand for her. Twenty-seven thousand. Thirty-three thousand. Look at Mr. MVP. Even be oh my God, the ants did a lot. Uh, they usually do less than ten thousand, but they were pretty dope. Now the water guys weren't so dope because of fire resistances, but you know that's fine. Physical, elemental, yeah, his, his fire is... Damn, he's good now. I mean, he was always good. I should have never replaced him with Kayla. I should have just gave him magic penetration. How foolish of me that I thought someone could replace Eric. Or Rakim. I mean, can't replace Eric either. <laughs> he's gonna kill everyone. Alright, let's give this one some sunflowers so 111 right the knockback is kind of oh did it crash oh. she can't equip oh. she can't put it back on okay now it works what the fuck that was weird say so, yeah, 111 deeps but now we put sunflower on. So sunflower three, three projectiles instead of one. Each only deals sixty percent of the main damage, but hundred percent of additional damage. So it's basically. I don't really know the formula how they deal with additional damage, whether it you know it's multiplicative or uh, additive. I don't know. It includes any buffs as well, so I'm just gonna treat it as one hundred and twenty percent 
for each projectile, so... Yeah, that's basically 260% extra damage, right? It also reduces skill damage by 20%, but she is probably the only one who literally doesn't care about skill damage. And the next one would be Kayla, because it's only just her uh, construct. Because she cares about it, he cares about it, kind of, he really cares about it, he really cares about it, and even he cares about it for his healing. Although he... So these three are kind of the ones that could do some power, but he can't use range, so, you know. Let's try it. Boink. 188, minus 1% skill power. Nice. Skill power increase minus 20%. Ugh. Oh, she also has Earth on it. With some penetration. It's not gonna do much against the orcs, but... Eh. I am satisfied with it. Back to the tower! Now we touch this. Secret area, how is this a secret area? It's, it's literally right there. Also, how is this a secret area? There's literally stairs and a portal. Unless there's some kind of obstruction that's not marked on the map, it's not a secret area. Oh, another champion trophy. That's gonna be the orcs, probably. I see an orc there. Yeah, we can go up these fucking stairs. What the hell what kind of secret area is this? What is this thing? <laughs> Oh, fun. <laughs> it's a gearhead. How the crack is this a secret area? Let's go back down and see what's there. Oh, uh, it's not a sec. It's not an actual secret room. It doesn't say. So I think that's just a. Uh... It's an improper labeling, because it didn't take us here. This is definitely a secret area. And that might be a secret area, unless it connects, of course. And these rooms are probably count, uh, counted towards the secret rooms, because we need the clocks for it. But this ain't a secret. 158! With shit pants. Is this for... For the rangers. <laughs> At least 260 gold should be nice. 49? Insult! That looks cool. It's a wand of Event Horizon. <laughs> a wand. Who fucking uses wands in this? Okay, it keeps giving me 240 somethings. Whatever, it's gone. It's a gun of absolute garbage. Cool. Whatever. Yeah, sure. Oh look, towers and constructs. Let's kill them. They're guarding a chest and I need it. Oh look, it did this thing again. Because, you know, the addicts were to the other side, so if I put it, push it, oh, or press it, rather. The Topaz Golems are back. Network of Guard Towers are located here with an additional contingent of avatars and elite construct warriors. And they don't like water, and Rakem's fire penetration is good enough. Not to mention oh, Eric's uh, water penetration is also just disgusting. Okay, those are definitely portals. Yet another arena. I like that. All these arenas. Also Stargate. Or Stargates. I can just gonna sit in this corner. And once enemies don't spawn anymore, we just take out the three towers. Yeah. Money not da. Alright people, kill this fucker. Kill this fool. Money. So move closer. My blade is yours to command. Blink. Yes, moving! Alright. Put the fire down. Moving out. Sit in that corner. Yes, moving. Money Marte. 
All right. Put these guys here. I never miss. Ready to serve, my Sit lord. This. Money not that. Manka le merna. Manka le merna. Alrighty. Put it on ourselves. On my way. They have to go around. Going. This is pretty good against melees. They they have to go in here. Sora. Let's speed it up. Cause I feel like it's gonna be one of those where we just kind of set. Get blasted. I mean. Stand your ground, little constructs. Yes. I am a lord. What is that? Oh, they froze the guy. What a dick. Get blasted. Money not that. Got swiped in the ass. They're still spawning. Oh, but now, okay, now we are just going at the towers. There's actually, there's more things. Some more shit. Go, my pretties. Get a little buff on you as well. Wait a minute. He's. His runes disappeared. I never miss. Okay, so the runes disappear, but the stabby stabbies don't. Orders? Huh. Let's see how long it takes for the runes to disappear. It should take it a long time, right? Because this is the first time I realized they disappear. Yeah, they definitely the last a long time. Alright, people. Your wish is my Destroy these fucking Put things. Oh. oh, that was the last one in that one shot. <laughs> it was like a no health. Great. Yes, elementals. Affirmative. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> Kane, stop. The sound is spazzing out. Dear for boots. Better boots, except crits. Crits are bad, but crits can be forged on this, right? Yeah. However, we don't use Kayla anymore, so... Ah, oh, the resistance aura. Mm. You know what? Kayla can get these boots. Get some crit chance on it. Straight upgrade. Better armor, resistances, and health. Ah. Uh, and she gets some health regen because she got the 1% stone. And my Ave is going to get uh, crafty boots. Tier 4 crafty boots. Yes. You know, just for funsies. Why not? Some shoes. She could get a helmet as well. Though the Viking looking helmet looks cooler. Looks more dwarven. Alright, what do you want here? You want health and resistances, movement speed, or. Uh. He said, oh shit. 35 health points, 55 health points, 35 health points. This is the same as this, but it gives movement speed. And this gives more resistances. So it's gonna be protection. Why does it always make a fi minus 50 mana the first? Fucking hell! Stop! What is wrong with this? There we go. Jesus fucking Christ. Fucking four of them with minus 50 mana. And then one finally with... <laughs> I'm kind of inclined to reload this, but I don't think I saved after the fight. Holy shit. These are all minus mana. Which is not that bad. I mean, it's 250. Actually, it's bad. 
Because it's like... Yeah, cast the fucking bear traps. Stupid fucking game. Look at this shit. What an asshole. But this one is basically an upgrade. It doesn't have the movement speed. But she's on 11.7, so that's fine. Got some attack speed and crit chance. Loses for mastery, but that's also fine. She doesn't need that. So. Get some of that crystal back, but... Damn. Still just level 1 for this. I kind of want more of this, because this is the 20 meter element of resistance. It's just pretty good. Although the arenas are getting larger, it's still pretty good. Because at least the two ranged guys are always on stock, stacked on each other, so... They can benefit. 275, that's good. What does this give? Same, less movement speed. Actually, more movement speed. Less attack speed, a lot less. Is this the one of those... Oh no, it's not even forged. Damn, this is very good. Oh, it has the weapon master, that's why. Okay. Skill power, she doesn't need. Cooldown, she kinda needs, but not much. The crit chance... Her crit chance is down to 90. What the fuck happened? It's back to... Back to 100. Did the... Did the boots give her crit chance? And I just missed it? Oh well. She could go down to 76, which is not good. So... Yeah. And she also goes down. Crit. So... Man, now she got three skill points she can put in something. What should she put it in? The barrage we don't use anymore? Hmm. Eh, I guess just whatever. Whatever. Now she's back to the crit fire. Discover new teleport, Northwing. <sighs> That's good. Now, is this a secret area? Can't go into that wing, or that little ruined corridor, sadly. Don't know if there's anything in there. Like, we can double back on this side, actually. A thing! Piece of broken glass later the base of the sculpture, or piece of long forgotten machinery. Your champions cannot agree on the nature of function. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's like they start spinning and these become wings, and it just flies away. Candelabra, control panel. Interesting. Yeah, that's where we were. So there's nothing on this side. So this this little thing is. But then if there's nothing here, why did they put it on the map? Because normally areas that you can see into but they are impassable. You can't go to them. Are not on the map. Sus. Well, we can use the travel disc again. Go back. And from here we can run all the way back here. So either we do this. Or we do this. Let's just go around this way. Back. It's a similar distance. And this was a dead end, yeah. And I think we only need one more number as well, for the clocks. Which means I could just brute force it. Oh no, we need two more. Shit. Grand Fountain. Not willing to risk it. It's minus 50 health, it's not that big of a deal, but... The alignment bonuses are better. Discussing the sacrifice, that's gonna be one. Oh, look at that! It's like we're on a spaceship. These little monitors. It's 
get this. No! <laughs> the pistol. Wait, someone ran to the pistol. Good. What the? Oh, she ran to the. Ah. Are we going to do anything about it? There we go. Jesus, that was weird. Like, this is where I wanted to come initially. Yeah, just. Gala saw the Proteus and was like, Father! An incredibly lifelike statue with fine features. So detailed you expected to step off from its pedestal and speak. You could swear you've seen the likeness before. <laughs> the inscription reads, First Bogus Proteus. As her party moves on, Kayla remains behind, her gaze locked on the face of the statue. When the members in the rear of the party notice her absence, they call to the ancient engineer, but she gives no response. Concerned, the entire group stops and calls out again, this time louder. Still, Kayla remains silent. Only when the group begins to move back towards the young woman does she finally turn from the statue. With a loud moan, oh, the girl collapses to the floor. Once later, she awakes in Boron's arms, her eyes bright with recognition. Are you alright? I'm fine, I think. What happened? Did you recognize the statue? Is your memory returned? Kayla quickly averts her eyes and answers with a nervousness. I recognize this protest now. Anyone of my time would, even after a slumber of a thousand years. After all, he was largely responsible for this place. But it wasn't him, per se. I just felt for a moment strong feelings and a sense of familiarity. It's gone now, though. Plot twist. He is her father. <laughs> In Connie's ear. Her eyes betray her. I believe more of her memory has returned than she lets on. Let her keep her secrets if she chooses. She has done nothing but aid us so far. If her memory is returning, all the better. We will see. Jesus Christ, Whisper, why are you getting so racist again? Energy pistol! A candles before the statue of the first Megas all collectively knew. A wooden splint lying next to the book at the base of the statue reveals a charred black tip. Illegible handwritings fill the book from cover to cover. I guess the orcs took a liking to him. The text sprawls across its erratic and senseless. It's self-erratic and senseless. As your champions decide to abandon its ramblings, they discover a single decipherable message or passage. Traitor, decipher, deceiver, shepherd of flock of fools. You took their lives and their powers, but yours will, la will not last forever. No, you can sense your end drawing near, as surely as the frost comes in winter. At long last, my time to reign is nigh. Ah, Sleeth. Sleeth is still alive and is trying to get Proteus. Also, how come the engineer cannot decipher these? She remembers Proteus, but she can't read the, the fucking text that's on the fucking thing? Weird, man. What is this? A lot of plants. There is overrun with vegetation. Gear and supplies gathered here. Reveal a makeshift camp. Your champions are at a loss. How to explain how plants grow without water or sunlight. Magik. Magika. Alright, energy pistol, these is, ah, uh, this is one of, it's the same as that other one, the, the fucking, that gun we went into prison for, 1 to 50 fire damage, good crit chance, but still, what if it crits with the minimum damage, which is 1, <laughs> wow, it's 2 damage then, elemental resistance shattering, god damn, it's a support gun, get out of here, Shit. Absolute shit. It's probably a Deva pistol. That's why it's so bad. Because it got it, it's it was tier four, so it's not meld, but it's also not adamantine because the tier four guns look like you know like that gun. Maybe it's the lava gun. Oh that's so pretty that's not pretty cute. <laughs> Look at it, it's a tiny a little fucking tank that it shoots fire from. Aww. What'd he do? Magic pan, fire in the air. I could make her into like a magic pan crit chance. I could make her into that. Hmm. But I mean, her armor pan is so great. And I have like the melee guys with armor shattering. This is cute though, wow. Doesn't have crit. Blah. So yeah, I feel like it's a Deva gun. 
Can we look at these, these panels? See what they do. The security cameras or what? Do they have the same stuff on them? Hmm. Gold. Oh shit! Disgusting the sacrifice. Small, simple looking leather bound book sits atop of an iron pedestal. Despite a dim light shining down from above, drawing little attention to it, the party takes notice. Whisper takes a hold of the book and examines its contents. The cover shows signs of recent replacement. It no longer contains a title of any kind and instead only has a symbol of four scratched up on it. Her face sighs as most of the pages have been scribbled over with thick strokes of black ink. Only one page is legible reading. Yeah. The Magi are holding a gathering tomorrow oh, to discuss the sacrifice. I know they won't reconsider, but I've begged them to at least delay such discussion from a fortnight. For a fortnight. So they play a play around a fortnight and then sacrifice themselves. My continued research may yet yield an alternative to the loss of so many good lives. I fear deep within my heart that I already know the answer, and the desperate haste which drives them. What will Artara become with a thousand of its greatest benefactors gone? I try with supreme effort to distance my emotions from the situation, but each passing day makes it increasingly difficult to stifle the hate I have toward the Organte. How can you not hold the race accountable for the very undoing of your world? Yeah, fucking white men. <laughs> what, what, why? I mean, Organte. <laughs> hey, you wanna talk about it? Oh, nope. And apparently he's not alone. He's the war leader. Da 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 da. Nor quality that is guarding the passage here. Defeat him before he calls an army. He's got the usual suspects of we don't like water and fire. And he himself doesn't like fire. Oh my god. What the fuck is that health? Oh, I see something that I don't like, but we'll get to that. Powered by the blood of a thousand fallen enemies, this... Oh wow, so this is what this is the culmination of the sacrifice. A thousand magi. <laughs> this old general will stop at nothing to add another human head to his mantle. That's a big mantle. The various dangerous axes that can split unarmored targets in two. Hey, if it splits us in two, we'll have just more, more spellcasters and more rangers, you know? A lot of physical damage with not a lot of penetration. Although it still penetrates all of Eric's shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that armor, holy shit. My wife can actually pierce all that, it's fine. Rakim can pierce the fire. Even the splash mounting guys can hurt the water. It's fine. This is what I don't like. Aura Thorns reflects 100% physical damage dealt. Both melee and range. Well, there's only two things that do physical now. The Ants and my ape. So Maeve might kill herself without me paying attention. <laughs> Just, I'll hear the death noise and I'll be like, oh fuck, she killed herself. It can leap. And it can throw a large axe. It's a big weapon. He's playing Kenshi. It's a, it's a two-hander. The big metal... <laughs> or maybe he's playing Final Fantasy. Either or. Big buster swords. Throws two large rusted axes. Dealing 250 physical damage. And giving a uh, fucking tetanus to your party members. Can throw axes only at targets further than 8 meters. Okay, so get in his face. Cool, I'm gonna fuck him up. Yes. Alright, where does he come from? Alright, that's him. That's him. That's him, eh? Let's, let's move awesome. a little further in. La 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 la. You're good. Shut up. Unleash hell. Money Marte. What the fuck? What did you jump on? Who was there? That's not allowed. Oh, they were there. They got punctured. Yes, yes my lord. How may I help? Come back here and threaten him. Heru Amin. Move away! I never miss. Oops. Coming. I never miss coming. Yeah, same. <laughs> Sora! 
<laughs> what the fuck? Fuck you. Oh, someone's dying. Oh, she's reflecting herself. Ah! Kill this thing. And they use like elemental damage. Stop killing yourself. Kill that. He's dead now. My lord? Free. Twenty damage. That's it. Wow. Wow. We got a yellow. Fourteen thousand damage. Damn, Rakam is tearing up the dance floor. I'm I'm glad because I invested some some money on him. After the battle, Boron takes up one of the orc's swords. Its metal and crafts work are far more advanced than the original orc's weaponry. In fact, it appears to be more refined than most of your own party's weapons. It's meld. This is not the craftsmanship of the crude cra creatures encountered earlier. This is the weapon of learned people with expertise in metalwork, keen understanding of craft tradition, and a means of to mass produce. Perhaps, no, never mind. The odds of that are too unlikely. Say it, elf. What, Alf of the Lothrien? Share your theory with us. I recall the notes of the Magus Sleeth. He mentioned the portal's bridge to not only worlds, but time itself. I thought for a moment, perhaps the orcs are indeed the very ones we encountered earlier, only from a far distant future. Verentu's orc orcs, like, didn't Sleeth read about, or write about how he went into the same place but in the future, and the orcs were kind of getting messed up by humans? Did they not lose? Did the horde win? <laughs> nice. Your insight may be more accurate than yours than you suspect. Forest mage. I indeed sense the same magical energies between both groups of creatures, and this is more disheartening. What is that, your highness? If that is true, then who knows what else lays in wait for us? We may very well soon find out ourselves. Very well soon. Okay. The crude creatures and their opponents far more advanced yeah maybe those beasts come back as well with like augments and shit almost at 10,000 money so this is who's selected who the fuck is selected is it my Ave? oh no it's Kayla okay so it's a ranger armor what the fuck earth's gifts less armor shit resistances good earth resistance I mean yeah okay I like it. Actually, don't break it. Boron can we wear it as well. Ancient leather bands turn into something that's worse. This is actually bad. Like, what the fuck? If you specialize in earth resistance and nothing else, then sure. <laughs> but I mean, fuck. There's no point. Hey, we read this. Wait, did we read this? Did we read this? I had a supreme commander. Supreme Commander Efforts. Oh. Advanced Orcs. There we go. The last lever. Da -da 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 now it spins. Spins angrily. We can still move. Oh, we can get to this point. And then we can teleport back. Where was the... Council... Is it the Council Entrance? Oh, yeah. Wait, that's a lever. So it was like here or some shit, I guess. Pit. No, wait. That's the forge. What? What? Money. But first, we need to see what the orcs give us. Enchant. Enchantment! Enchantment! Whoa, that's sheet. Because it's only for melee weapons. Look, we can see them in a larger picture. Nice. Doctor's Lectors. Oh, defeat four Doctor Lectors. 
and their faithful guard of elite protectors. What the fuck are doctor lectors? I don't think we even faced those yet. Rope of the Elders. Fire and air resistance, health regeneration, 11 armor and elemental aura too. It's a defensive robe. We will not use that, so I don't care. That's it! They don't have a... What? Just five? They don't have a sixth one. Man, oh, this is only also five only. And these are also shit. Just money. Ah, <sighs> money. I mean, money's good, don't get me wrong, but... I get enough by rolling the... Uh... Oh, this control panel is the one that we can touch, of course, because it faces the camera. Perfectly. I mean, that means over, overgrown. Large control panel has four separate displays with realistic images of different areas of the tower. The images change every few seconds. Scala calls it a security display, which shows actual places within the tower at this very moment. Aha! Uh -huh. They don't actually change, do they? Yeah, that would be too much. Too much detail. We need one more book. Actually, we have the four now, right? We have four, so we could actually just brute force it now. Into the unknown. All levers are touched. That will keep take us here, probably. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so we can do the clock stuff as well. Alright, that's good. Candelabra. Whoa, 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 she's here! But I want that... No, the loot! As your party walks down the stairs, a violent explosion of red sparks erupts from before them, forcing them all to shield their eyes. This is my fault and warning to you. Enter this room. Die. Cool, I don't care. I want this. Sealed envelope. An upturned candelabra on the floor draws Eric's attention. Beneath the sizable mountain of wax lies a sealed envelope. Its contents read, Magus Broccoli. It is good that you were unable to attend our gathering in the retraining ground. Someone in your group, in our group betrayed us. Damn. Magi not loyal to our cause infiltrated and disrupted our session. Arguments came to blows. Oh. Three of our numbers were arrested. The rest have scattered, hoping their identities remain unknown. I foresee much bloodshed in our future. Are we truly prepared to open this door? Once done, it cannot be shut. Will ours. Dang. Names. So wait, if we go down here, we die. Is this like a spaceship just is docked here? A prototype figure. But. 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 Chests. Although that's an ancient chest. Oh wait, the relic chest is the best, right? Small chest is shit, the ancient chest is better, but not as good. And the relic chest gives us the good stuff, because it can give us, you know, relics. So, yeah, screw you, Tower Avatar. It also has a portal, so, yeah, it's a lab. This is where we figure out the truth. That we kind of know already. Oh look, ordinary bench. And an ordinary chest. Here, for gameplay purposes only. Hmm, pants. Pants of magic. They are a little better defensively. Give some health regen. Health increase. But lower mana. Ugh. Lower mana. That's disgusting. Five mastery. Holy crap. Look at this thing. This is pretty good. Like, I couldn't forge something this cool. Cables. Ooh. Like flies to the web. This is where they made the uh, Tower Avatar. She's gonna be like, whoop, connect herself and boss fight ensues. Or not. Oh. It's a trap! It is a trap. Large forces of Elite Avatar's warriors contracts surrounding your party. Hey. Ah, uh, who got trapped? Why? Okay, not much. Not much pine. Not much pine. They got some towers. Look, this isn't yet another arena. It's some kind of warehouse, lab, hybrid. Look at that. This is so cool. Look at this 
arena building. You can even... Whoa! Stasis chambers. Look at that shit. It's like a completely different game. With some stone rubble and shit. Radiation! Oh, And the uh, fingers are actually moving there. They animated this fucking display that most people would probably not even fucking look at. It's the Earth. It's Atara, I guess, but... Pretty cool. Even the fucking things there move, and it's just... You know, sometimes the attention to detail is pretty neat. It's a dead orc, I think. It's a dead orc with fucking uh, dead space <laughs> health indicator, but it's full, so it's not dead, it's just sleeping. And that green liquid under it is just barfed. And he's sleeping in his own barf. That's it. That's the truth behind that orc. Look at that, a red globe just spinning. That's not Artara, or maybe that's the ley lines of Artara, or maybe that's no moon, you know? <laughs> tools, conventional tools, you know, hammers and pliers, screwdrivers, they will never go out of fashion. Ah, a larger orb. I like this. I wish sci fi. Sci fi with knights and mages. I like when uh, fantasy mixes sci fi, it's fun. Alright, who do we break out first? Definitely not Kane. He's, he's useless, but he's close. Ah, fuck. Alright, rock him. Put this on. Put that on. And then everything Always. else will... ...go here. There. Unleash hell. Run away from the pain! Look, he's out. Alright, we gonna sit in the middle, I guess. No pussy. Okay, so Consider it done. Oh yeah, his dash doesn't actually stun. I think it's the other side that does a little stun for him. Sucks. And blinding also doesn't make them not be able to cast. Don't actually have a lot of cast interruptions. So. My lord, for honor and glory. I rock him. This side is yours. Yes, moving. Heading out. Moving out. Unleash hell. Money, Marte. You can't, though. Sucker. Haha, <laughs> get fucked. How may I help you? I am a lord. Look, he's dancing. I can speed this up a little bit. May the light guide your path. Yeah, thorns it. Death by a thousand thorns. Yes. Yes, my lord. I want to see fire. Ah, ha ha. Heru Amin. I never miss. Mani Marte. At your service. He's almost dead. He almost died. Moving into position. Oh no! Run! Run away! Is my Uma de la. Heal him. Shoot them. Onwards to the fray. Oh no, he moved out of it. My lord. Dumb bitch. Acknowledge. Turns out that little health leech right between the eyes. was actually kind of useful. Right? Huh. Oh, well. he's fine. So yeah, these... The bear traps don't go away. Also, that don't look like a bear trap. But the runes do disappear. And my stream died. Great. Well, let's just sit on the... Uh... It's at attempt 6! When the fuck did it die? Like, two minutes ago? I guess it died at the... Oh my god, game, stop. 
scrolling around. It scrolls around, holy shit. Because it's fucking borderless, no matter what you choose. Oh well. Yeah, my internet is fucking dead. Actually, it's not. The browser is loading. It's OBS. Come on, OBS. I don't want to stop the recording. That will create multiple videos. No. Attempting to connect. It's still... It cannot connect. But the stream is still... Oh, it's just not died. OBS. What is wrong with you? Can I stop streaming without stopping the recording? Hmm. I think there's an option to uh, this or to unlink them, but I don't know if I can find that option. Bruh. Da da da. Oh wait, we're back. <laughs> As I'm looking through the options, it's back. Hey, Alameo. So that was legit just, just OBS, because my internet didn't actually die. Or maybe just the Twitch servers, who knows, maybe the Twitch servers are having an issue. Any case, we just did a fight, it's all, it's fine. And we're on three hours recording, so I, I could just stop here because I am in the yellow actually. But I mean, I'm always in the yellow nowadays. The, since this year started, it was always in the bright green and the yellow. It, yeah, it, it changes between the uh, the healthy green and that dry grass green, that ugly green. Like every second, it just plick, 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 plick. But I mean, that's been the thing this year so far. Oh, look at the melee boys taking the crown for damage. Look at Maeve. I think this is the first time she's the least damage dealing. But I mean, she was just standing here doing bear traps and nothing else. Ha, 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 ha. Foolish girl. Ah, uh, anyways, uh, I don't know. Should I stop here before the big reveal? Should I go another hour? Ah, I'll go for another hour. Fuck it. So we got some adamantine gauntlets of speed. Which is not good. Because they don't need speed. They need magic penetration and armor. That's all they need. And this cannot provide either. I mean, it provides some crit, but not even good enough. Oh, my cat woke up. So he might actually decide to just shit. <laughs> he hasn't pooped. He actually... No cat distractions this stream so far. And I didn't even know that my cat was in my room. <laughs> he just he just showed up and just thought oh, there he is. He was sleeping. Actually I do know because before the stream I closed the window and he was on the bed sleeping. Yes, I'm talking about you. <laughs> he's just looking at me. Oh, he's so adorable. Anyways, cables. Hundred pipes, conduits, and cables, the scale calls them, converge just above a shaft of considerable depth. Oh, though your champions seen a source, the area is illuminated by bright blue light. So that's it. Magi statue. So she, it was just a trap. That's all. That's that's all she had for us. A shitty trap. All right. Relic chest. Ooh. Uh. Two hundred and seventy-five money. Are you kidding me? <laughs> With a relic chest? You stupid game. Give me at least 300. That's close enough and we got a purple. Purple paint too. Cool. There's a teleportal. is just a dead end oh wow look you can practically touch the bottom this might be the actual final floor which means I, I should just finish the game huh? although that might be next to two hours actually yeah uh, see we'll see oh cut shit I will never forget my creators 
the Magi who refused the great sacrifice, those who would later be branded rebels and traitors. But their intent was not always in opposition. In the beginning, their goal was the same noble objective as Proteus himself, protect Artara at any cost. But where Proteus saw the war with the Argante all but lost, my creators believed the shadow threat could yet be overcome. They experimented with every means possible to develop the ultimate constructs, artificial beings who followed orders fearlessly with unwavering persistence and unquestioned loyalty, the perfect warriors. While their efforts bore fruit, no construct of Magi design stood superior to the Organti creations. And each passing day brought the invaders one step closer to Artara's seemingly inevitable conquest. The Magi quickly surmised they would not succeed without aid from the first Magus. In his rage over the Magi's defiance, Proteus erected an impenetrable barrier around his level of the tower, severing all contact with the outside world. Already having failed to breach the barrier themselves, my creators turned to their construct creations, but like their masters, they too failed. On the verge of conceding defeat, the Magi underwent one last attempt at a new construct, no longer intent on creating a breed of soldiers capable of winning a war. They focused on a single soldier, a construct created for one purpose alone, to break Proteus's barrier. The rebel magi crafted a construct bound directly to the tower itself, a truly unique meld of magic and technology unlike anything that had come before it. In their crowning achievement, the tower avatar was brought online and I was eager to fulfill my duty. Mage I, Magus, Organthi. Uh, I had to reconnect my fucking microphone because apparently after the the crash of internet with OBS, uh, it also again forgot the filters on the uh, microphone. It was just always on, and I noticed that during the cutscene. But thankfully, reconnecting the microphone this time worked. I, however, I don't know, it might still do the cutoff thing it did in that one video that apparently got a lot of views. Hmm. The audio problems draw in the views, huh? So, personal struggle is what people want to see. Well. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna drop the big bomb with, with personal struggles. <laughs> that might be a false positive, but might be a positive. Tomorrow, we will know. <laughs> Uh, the bodies are so frail. Flesh is weak. <laughs> Golden style feeling washes over your champions as they enter this room. Machinery. I hope it's false positive. God damn it. Machinery here is unlike all that has come before it. Perfectly smooth, clean, unwatered, or unvettered. This time, this, this, this time itself has no meaning here. Strange mechanical appendages hover over our human like forms, forced of unknown substance. It's the prototype avatar. It's made out of porcelain. Nice. There you have it. She is a weapon designed by these Magi who rebelled against Proteus. Nothing more. It seems like the Magi and Proteus were both trying to save Artara. I wonder why they couldn't work together. I'm also going to be a little quieter now. Uh, except with Dwarf. Because they angered him. <laughs> or by the sounds of it. A throwing in with the other lads who gave their lives. High Magus would not have prevented them from reaching him. Unless they meant harm to him or Artara. All of Artara. What do you want? Yeah? You're awake and you, you need to play. Yeah. Piece of shit. Get out of here. <laughs> Maybe I am going to swallow the microphone so I don't need to 
be loud at all, I guess. Or I could increase the gain on it. Gains. I find this room unsettling. May I suggest we depart this hit with haste? You wanna go? Alright, my cat wants to go. My cat is Eric, I guess. The champions move to, to exit. Kane steps position, takes position above the one of the tower of tower forms, draws his blade and prepares to strike. Myvan Kale rushed to his side to stop him, but the shield guard is set on leaving the avatar message. But he seems divided, some sympathetic to Kane's personal vendetta. Others concerned such a message would only provoke the tower of tower. It's close to the bottom of the tower, should you not intervene and keep your champions united? What? You're just gonna slash at some fucking... Porcelain portal or prototype. Who gives a fuck? Let him. Let him. Impose your will. Let him. I don't care. What? They stop him. Wait, that's minus. That's minus armor. Look at the fucking Eric. Damn, this guy is turning into a fucking tree. We got movement speed we don't care about, elemental resistance we don't really care about, attack speed we don't really care about, armor we care about, we lose. <sighs> personal vendetta should have won. But, but, I mean, I could skip past the cutscene. His personal grievance with the tower attack is between an old soldier and his adversary. Champions wish to intervene and get in the middle, so be it. A few moments, it's clear my and Kale won't let this situation go. I pushes into the shield guard. Or I feel the concern no other party member can express. Hey, can't go on like this, taking it so personal. Kane turns away without a word, hopes to strike the avatar, duplicate, on the opposite table. Before he can complete the motion, Kela steps in front of him, holding her hand up, halting his blow. Stop, this is sexism! My hip's right, shit god. The avatar is our enemy, an obstacle we must overcome, but giving her so much attention is distracting. Need your A game, Kay. Let it go. Let it go! Let it go! With a growl like grunt, Kane sheaths his sword and exits the room. Can't exit, because then we will fall. Strange form, similar in appearance to the Tower of a Tower. Said she was made. I wonder if this came before or after her. I moves to touch the prone form. Looks so helpless. Don't touch it, Les. Maybe the real spy lady can feel what it feels. It would suit me fine. Do not run into her again. I mean, we can easily kill her, probably. What do you want, Kitana? You wanna go outside? Yeah? This late? At this hour? Pick your much like tower with our ladies before your champions on a table of iron. So lifelike in its details, your champions approach with caution. Despite its frozen, breathless, colorless nature, Kayla recognizes the machine here as a medical in nature. Oh no. She's fucking dead. Oh, ancient. Obsidian Crush 2! Oh, wow, 20% extra armor. Wait, what do we put that on? Is it for shields? Uh, oh, wait, it's not that one. It's a different Obsidian Crust. It's for our legs. 20%, but I would lose thorns. What? That's so stupid. How is this obsidian crust and obsidian crust aura? The aura is flat. And this obsidian crust is percentage. And this obsidian crust is flat. Make up your mind! Last tubes. Tubes embedded in the barrel contain a phosphorescent l l liquid that glows brightly when agitated. Why would they agitate it? What the fuck? An engraving on the side of the machine reads CG Chemistry. The metal of this machine flakes off when touched as if exposed to a corrosive element for many years. Money Marte! <laughs> and we're done with the lab. Now we know that the Tower Avatar only wants to kill. But let's teleport to. Clocks. Some puzzles, I guess. Our memoir, the time the four edicts passed into law.
Port of War, races fight with constructs, land devastated, discussing the sacrifice. I'm guessing that's not uh, time of the tower's completion. I guess the land devastated is after the sacrifice. First Megas' birth. Elves broke their wow. Great sacrifice. What was the first one again? I'm guessing the great sacrifice is the devastation. Which is this. Discussing the sacrifice. Time of the Great Sacrifice, yeah. Four. Oh. Elves broke their wow. We don't have anything about elves. Time of the first Muggles' birth. War the war. Races fight with constructs. Land devastated. I guess it's gonna be. Th Fucking kidding me. Wait, where is it? Oh, it wasn't three. Hours completion. Guess the. I don't know. Fight with constructs. Four edicts. I guess that's three. Wait, we have three. One. But that's after the sacrifice. I have no fucking clue. I, sh I would have to read the actual fucking books we touched, right? Because this doesn't say shit. But I remember one of the books specifically stated uh, one of the dates that is here. That talks about one of the things. But now I have no fucking clue. I would have to look at... The goddamn books again. But they're all over the fucking place. They're like. Uh, they're not even on the fucking map. They're not on the map. Yeah. Great. Fuck me. I might just. Ah, the fuck. Let's look it up. It's the Elven stuff. Let's just. Whee. Did it open anything? <laughs> probably not. It will probably show me if I opened anything. Yeah, because it's so fucking far away. Fuck, the, fuck this shit. Stupid. Go travel. Wrong portal. I have 10,000 monies done. It's nice. There it is. Oh, it's a big fight. Oh my god, I am not rolling all of these. Or am I? 84, good. 82, good. Anything above 80. 87, that's very good. 74. Oh, oh. Well, that's where you're wrong, buddy boy. 86. Although, we have 11,000. Right? 2,000 is needed for each final upgrade for the buildings. That's 6,000. After that, we have, what, 5,000 left. That's like three levels. Yeah, actually, we still need to pin it. 89, very nice. 83. Take anything above 80 or at 80. 
Relic chest, 275, and a shitty pistol. Shitty pistol, 30% crit chance, never mind, it's not bad, it's fast. 13 pen, 30 crit, 60, 70. It's less damage. 25 pen, 16 crit. I mean, her crit is 100%. 26. needs us get all this gold back to the surface so they can build us build us beautiful structures we can train in we're gonna be here for maybe I should just leave this for tomorrow although no stream tomorrow because Duvita drops <laughs> I ain't fucking streaming then. I'ma be playing Warframe all day. Well, not all day. Whenever the thing drops. And it will probably drop in the afternoon. Among the moldy boxes and lies eaten books, your champions find a book of poetry. Warren is taken by the book, and after examining it through thoroughly, recites a poem he finds a part of particular interest, albeit very crudely written. Midnight falls across the lane, the darkness, uh, darkest hour is nigh at, nigh at hand. Fuck. Demons fly in search of life. Hide your children and your wife. Uh, <laughs> the traitor lurks and watches all hidden beneath behind his deadly wall. Deathly wall. It's the men in the wall. This warfare. <laughs> Everything comes down to one game if you only play one game. Then again, I don't only play one. I play all the game. All of them. Every single video game. We have 20,000 money. Oh, baby. Or, wait, 12,000. Yeah, not 20, huh? That would be weird. Suddenly we got 9,000 somewhere. <laughs> money, money. This is the best and worst room in the game. Hey, buddy. Oh! Fuck off. I need that money. <laughs> I'll kill this. Sentry prototype. Prototype? God, he's angry at me. Sentry construct is guarding the vault here. There's a network of strong guard towers as well. Clearly, this area was of high importance in the past. 44,000. This is the final boss. Ancient construct prototype with devastating range of offensive and defensive abilities. Utile attempt to create a unit capable to withstand Organtees. Organtees! Shadows in one on one combat. Look, it's angry. It's angry eyes. Fire damage, that's fine. Not a lot of armor, but a lot of meat. Doesn't like water and fire, that's perfect. And drain mana. Slow us. Effects are unpredictable. Alpha blizzard. Large ice chunks fall from the sky and freezing wind slows them. A nice shard. Holy shit. Oh, that's a nice cage. I thought it deal 600 damage. No. Man, that's not... It's not gonna be a big deal. Big good deal. Ready to serve, my lord. Good, serve me. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Okay, that sunflower ability is amazing. Look at her just piss on that shit. Oh, you're coming from here, huh? Money. Will do. Will do. I am your target. Pushy. Heru Amin. Put the weakness on yes, this guy. For honor and glory. Money not that. Boink. Boink, boink. Right between the eyes. Boink, boink. I'm a lord. Boink, boink. Advancing. Money Marte. Of course. I don't know how big that blizzard is. Yes, moving! Yes, moving! 
No, it's gonna touch. How do I mean? Never really do. Yes, my lord. That's I a never big miss. fucking thing. Keep it up, my lord. Moving out. Wait, wait. May the light guide your invulnerability. Oh. Yes, my lord. On my way. For honor and glory. We can kill this guy before these guys get here. Heading out. Oh, that was it. Everything else just died. Okay. Hey, right, cool. I didn't have a lot of damage on anyone because this guy only had like 44. 40 or whatever. Got a uh, Nova Stone. Building Nova Stone of Grand Recovery. Smelled. For honor and glory. <laughs> he fell into the blender while he was saying that. 15% ah. penetration. 18 power. No crits, but cooldown. Cooldown is good though. This is kinda shit. I can enchant it though. I'll give it more pen, but it's just 18%. We broke the stone eye. Which was probably still better than this, but... You know. She's got the golden and purple signs. She has golden and purple. As clothing. It only makes sense. Uh, 79. Disgusting. 83 82 Hey! Can we get this money? Secret Mago's treasure trove revealed before anyone can get a word in. It pushes her way. Okay, so no one just threw the coins. There's far too much to carry, Marksman. I can teleport back to town. I come back here. Take more. Teleport back. Connie, you are stupid. Beyond reason. Can't a girl look? I have no time to waste on trinkets. My pockets a handful of amethysts, then falls back into line. What? Those are amethysts? I thought they were like magic, 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 magic gems. Oh! We can't take all this, but we took basically all this, just in smaller piles. Brass box. Like a mirrored inlay surrounding the copper filigree. Throughout this press box are exquisite. Like okay, I'm certain the box is a clockwork puzzle, but no matter how hard it tries, it cannot reveal its secrets. I feel like I'm made out of magnets. Oh, yeah. I left the uh, the thing on. You see, that's why I need that preview. <laughs> I unmuted but left the fucking thing. Okay, the internet is struggling right now. It's struggling. It is dying. It's dying to know what happens next. So let's keep going. As long as we go, it will work. Nine sixty-three with a maze shit. Garbage, 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 garbage. Total garbage. I'm not giving up that eighty percent magic damage. Like, get out of here. A mimic! Mimic! It's a mimic! Just made of sentient wood and a big tongue to give you the good licks. It guards its treasure fiercely, but to devour all that attempt to take it. Makes sense that there would be a mimic in this. Finally, look at that 40,000 health. Force push, lesser healing, firestorm. Ooh, greater healing. 
lesser element of bolts, greater element of bolts, random elements. This guy's going to get absolutely fucked. My so blade is yours to command. Acknowledge. Come on, little boy. Get fucked. Yes. Advancing. Everybody get in range. Ready to serve, my lord. Yes, right, put on I the never heat miss. My blade is yours. Ah, it gives attack damage. Everybody in the range. 15% damage. Let's go. Yes, moving. Yes, my lord. Getting absolutely longer. Quick, yes, somebody stun it. You don't have any stuns. Right between the eyes. You can blind it. Hey, I mean. Yes, moving. Oh, it did firestone. It's own firestone. Too bad. We have resistances. Don't run away. At one side. Hey, boy. You're such a dick. <laughs> Damn. In a quick fight, my have still Rex shed. Moving in to position. Uh, he was trying to say the N-word, but he couldn't, which is good. Oh look, it's another garbage shed. Although 36% crit chance, hold on. What's the damage on it? 72 7 95. Five. Eighty. Eighty. It's literally the same damage. Yeah, twenty point five, twenty point five. Yeah. But the difference is, this is a chaotic one. Nineteen pan, thirty six crit. This says twenty five pan. The crit is good enough. Yeah, I mean, over one hundred percent crit, it's pointless. Viper statue, a, a life-sized carving of a hooded crimson viper, most deadly snake in all of Tara. I remember my brother and the other magi captured magi capturing one of these dreaded things that plans to harvest its venom and use it against the enemy. We encountered such a creature before and spoke to us. It introduced itself as a caretaker of commerce and then tried to steal our money. What? And you have trusted the snake? On earth would you do that? Ha! said the same thing back then. We didn't actually trust it. We didn't give it money. But maybe the money would have ended up in here with the extra interest. Which would have been like, what, an extra hundred gold or some shit? <laughs> Not much. Viper statue. Ah. Gajit likes coin. Hmm. 15,000 money? A sense of empty crates lined with remnants of fine black powder and a faint, acrid, and sour odor. Odor, odor. All the money claimed. Money market. Ooh, we are pretty high up above the forge. We are actually here. That's two secret rooms. Wait, what? How? How are we suddenly on two secret rooms? This didn't count. This gave us one, definitely. Was it this? Was the fucking thing a secret? Or did it give two from zero? Because it updated this as well, but this wasn't a secret. We can literally teleport here. Although, it kind of is a secret, right? It's it's contained. Self-contained. But this portal wasn't exactly hidden. And it didn't need any uh, puzzle on anything. I guess the portal is only there because it's a large secret area, so we can teleport out. But I mean, this is kind of the same size if you would lay it out like this. And it doesn't have a secret a portal. Although it actually does have a travel disc. Never mind. Never mind! Leave me alone! <laughs> I'm 
gonna look at the clocks. Uh, uh. Or maybe find the last book first. Let's do that. So we go here and then down. Magic of Laboratore. Did we have... We got all the blueprints, so... There's definitely one more level to this fucking place. Maybe I should just fucking stop. Let's go until four hours, it's fine. 20 more minutes. Because Proteus was also saying in that letter, come down to the level below and I'll give you the power of meld. <laughs> the sounds of a small explosion and potent smells of alchemy draw your party onto the grand stage of the Magus Parliament. Imposing roped figure stands behind the podium, throwing powders which burst into flame, speaking in ancient tongues. At the clanking of your party as armor, figure turns to face you, his arms spread wide as if conjure magic, his head dropped down, asking his face in shadow. Oh, that's a dude! I thought that was some kind of pylon. I just realized that he's right there. It's a fucking Jedi. We have to kill him. He will want the lightsabers back, but we broke both of them. Tightening the grip on his axe. Ready, lads! Figure lowers his hands and approaches from the podium. Sense the approach of an impending storm, one from which there is no cover. Drink his blade. Stand fast and give us your name, stranger. See? Oh, it's the fucking librarian guy. He's your blade shield guard. You are in the company of no enemy. But the figure removes his hood, revealing a familiar face. It is I, Phyllis the librarian. Remember, renowned historian of our day, relentless seeker of knowledge, master archaeologist, author of the Treaty of the Elm the Elven Race. How did he come down here? Before us. Although we are opening portals, so I guess they can just come down here. All eyes shift to Eric, who blinks without a word. But pause. I've noticed his scale shift uncomfortably. The marksman whispers to her. But Kayla knows that this guy is hiding something. Something wrong? No. He's my brother. I don't think so, it's just there's something only familiar about him. In any case, it is good to see you alive and well. I feared you would succumb to the dangers of the tower, and I'm glad to see I was wrong. A brave and capable adventurer as you must be, I must thank you. Presence has opened passages long lost to me. I've been, I've been to the parliament stage many years. How can I repay you? He's one of the rogue mages who didn't go with the sacrifice. Do you have anything for translate? I have no need of such services. Ah, actually we kind of do. Ah, how your party has grown. If my eyes don't deceive me, it seems a representative of every race of Atari is present. How wonderful. Well, it's good to see you again. But we must be on our way. The bottom of the tower awaits. Uh, before you go, if I may be so bold, since the opportunity will surely never come again, perhaps you can do one more task for me. <coughs> There's a book I desperately need. It lies in the old library on the second tier of the parliament. We've seen this chamber. It is locked. Of course, but I know where the key is. I've tried to go myself, but those horrible creatures roaming the hall terrified me to death. If you retrieve this book for me, I will eternally be grateful. <laughs> and perhaps able to scrounge up a meager reward for your services. Not a fucking 1 to 50 pistol. <laughs> what does the book look like? A leather bound book? Black leather bound book. Tome, in fact. Imprinted with simple red circle. It's the red circle of death! Philatus approaches. The black wall pushes a small tome. Stone. Teleporter pad close by is activated. Wow, I, my brain is stopping. Use this teleporter. It will lead you to a hidden library. You can find the key inside somewhere. How do you know this? What? Purple flowers? Philatus, no! The key is behind the travel disc. Go, go. I don't have all day. No time in the Tower of Time. Where's the portal? <laughs> so that might take us there. There it is, travel disc. Look how pretty this place. Is. Wow. Pretty. Reminds me of Path of Exile. When you're in the Act 3 and you know you're in the bathhouse.
Kinda missed that game. Kinda. Not really. Like, I feel like I'll play Fallout New Vegas before I play Path of Exile again. <laughs> Ancient chest. You should just go to the podium. Just the podium. The podium. Nine! I am hungry. Fuck. There we go. I am satiated now. <laughs> Gold. 176, a helmet of considerable considerable averageness. A lot of movement speed. Ooh, Kane could be move again. Attack speed, skill power. Oh. Skill power is actually not important much. But we could increase the armor with the thingy. Oh yeah, it gives skip power because it has Magi Bastion, but it's just a whatever. Like, we can do without it, it's fine. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 16. Whoa, actual 170 again. Better resistances. 9.9 .9 movement speed. Oh, yes. 5% attack speed is whatever. Crit chance, though. It's also whatever for him, but not for him. Hold on, he might take instead. Better. A lot better movement speed. The Spectra Spirit, though. 20% magic. More than 20%. 11 movement speed. What would the he. What would. Wait, a critical chance. No, that extra... Actually, this also gives crit chance. Ah, yeah, okay. Point. For the extra two armor, some resistances. Look at that. Back to capping. By default. Holy shit. Well, there goes the Titan Great Hum. Point. All the Titan set. Scrapped. I mean, you know what? Well, I don't need to care. Armor and health, skill power, or resistances. 12 armor. What is the fucking obsession of this fuckhead of a fucking game? I'm gonna save before crafting now. It gives minus 50 mana. Consta fucking play. Constantly! Look at it! dickhead look two in a row Fuck you. oh yeah wait I'm going for the armor never mind Doesn't give more than 12 fucking armor. What the fuck he let down? Sure, this has extra four. Actually, this is extra four, but if I craft a purple one, it only has one slot, so it can only go up to 14. 14 is less than 16. That's a loss in armor. Piss. Piss, for that is piss. Although I could make boots, 19. Inputs. Ten. Ugh. Ten. And twelve. Wow. Wow. A sixteen base value. Oh, because it's the constructs of ruin. Sapaton of ruin. I guess ruin gives a lot of movement speed. It's, even with constructs, it's 1.0 and then plus 0.4. Interesting. Well, I guess it's good. It's good now. Let's move on. Oh no, there's some corpses there. Oh, there's the last book. Ooh. Podia. In an old book. That looks like a cutscene. Ultimate sacrifice. Another sacrifice book. Fuck you. 
pile of shredded pages sit atop the iron pedestal. A light shining down from above draws all eyes to it. It points out a book bound in wood lying against the base of the pedestal amid more torn pages. I've retired the book and hands it over to the elf. The title and all the remaining pages have been blotted out with ink. Unlegible parts being the writing on the back cover. Nine. And one page which reads. This is probably the elf one. Ansel deliberates longer than expected. A blessing for the show us focused. Focus and thoroughness. I so strongly urged. Yes, the delay now also comes as a curse. From my own sister has been wounded by an invader's surprise attack. <gasps> it's the brother of the dude, the Kayla. Her injuries reminded me firsthand the cost of all Darnian's page. Page day to delay. As such, it is with a heavy, broken heart I must urge the Magi for and sacrifice. May the great spirits forgive me. Great spirits forgive all of us. It's another sacrifice book. Oh, how the fuck would I know when the elves broke their fucking vow to? Praise the sun! Now we have Dark Souls in this shit. Magic Bastion 2. Black Armor. Right, before we go that way, we're going to go into the uh, Philitas' portal. That's going to be the last thing I do today. Last thing I may do forever. Whoa! The fucking primals are back. The Devourer. The gargoyles. Well, look at all that shit. Looks ugly for me. We are in the room I thought we would be in. So we got a travel disc, an enchant scroll, E, an enchant scroll, lesser scroll, battle. A battle fierce awaits us. Arr! Never D. Grave spider. We don't have spiders, so that's fine. You are a gargoyle primal. No. Three primal beasts. It's kind of upgraded, I think. Maybe. It has the same shit. Earth three men. Yeah, they don't like fire. And water is okay against them. Look, minus fucking fire resistance. Oh, these poor babies. No. They're going to burn. Burn so bright. Old savage creatures have made this place the lair, somehow. The place emanates with strange powers, granting strong health regeneration enemies. Pff. How strong? 500 per second? Service. 100 per second. That is strong, actually. But. <laughs> Ah, uh, no pussy, let's go. Your wish is my command. Look at Connie! He's the fastest! All right. Your wish is my command. Slap your titties in there. My lord? Money not that. I never miss. Of course. Oh no, the devourer. Maybe out. My blade is yours to command. Yes, my lord. Also, increasing his armor increases his thorns damage. Yes. Money not that. Yes. Get devoured, pussy. Unleash hell. Ready to serve, my lord. Yes, moving. Onwards to the fray. Hell. <laughs> Money Marte. At your service. Right Extra damage to everybody. Us. Let's go. May the light guide your path. Money. Oh, we done. Battle start. Battle result. Get a corrupted ban. What the fuck? T1. 
8 armor, 20% earth resistance, 400 health, and minus 20 health. You can almost just wear it. With no downside. No real downside. 2000! <laughs> oh yeah, because he's got the life force spirit. <laughs> uh, oh, nice. Let's see. What do we need to replace? Magic pen or health, mana, health regen, movement speed, mana regen. That's not that neat. Oh, I actually kind of need 5.6 health up to 2000. What about him? That's his stones ring, so that stays. But this one is oh, stun immunity. Actually, whatever. Minus 9.5, 2200 health. Over. How the fuck is this so bad? Oh, he doesn't have the spirit because he has this shit. Wait a minute. Wait a dickity... Dickity dick dick. Dick dick dick. dick. He's gonna get a, an amulet. Dickity dick dick. Resistances, regeneration... Regeneration, I think. So this one gives more, the same armor, minus 30 Eresy, but it's still going to be 90%, so it's fine. Better health regen, better mana regen. Less movement speed, but here's the thing, right? Direct upgrade. And... Suddenly, it's got 5.1 mana regen, 27.5 health regeneration. <laughs> what is this thing? Dave Pendant. this off. Alright, so better armor. No stun immunity, but I feel like I'm gonna do without it. Even less air resistance. Oh, there we go. There's the extra 10%. But well, it's gonna be still an 80, so that's fine. And we can increase it during combat. It's perfectly fine. Plus 420 health. Plus the percentage. Oh. Uh, minus 20.4 health regen. It's fine, because it's going to go a lot more is this one. It's going to set it. Yeah, it's perfect. Heroes never die. Look at him. Still 16 health regen per second, which is not much when you have 200 or 2200 health almost. Huh. And this is the stun immunity ring. Hey, okay. have the daisy immunity, blind immunity. Ah, don't have more rings on, huh? Then again, blind immunity ring is fucking useless. is better. Blind immunity is mostly for ranged character. Void resistance uh, and much. What is this animals? One arm, mana regen, movement speed, attack speed. Yeah. Get out of here. Look at them golden people. <laughs> they're, too, they're too blue. They're too purple. Let's not look at that. Look at his health though. And obviously he could be extreme. Uh, you know, he was level 12 and all health. Yeah, he would have a lot. He would level like 3000. But we don't use him. This is pretty good. Tier 1 corrupted. Beautiful. Beautiful! Yes! Yes! Alright, what's on this side of this level and what is not? It's nothing much. Just a bunch of scrolls and the key. That's a scroll. Plus one might. That's penetration. Mighty Dwarf. Mighty Dwarf. 
Dark Seed 2. And we have Dark Seed 3 in the challenge, but we don't care. Gen scroll. And with the protection 3. Chest arm. So this is not the aura. Actually, it is the aura. Oh no, that's the elemental armor, that's the elemental armor. 15%. This will also be 15% probably. In a 14 meter radius. Clearly superior to this thing. Why would this even be a thing? This is so redundant. I guess this is cheaper? You can have Diddy armor. This is 4 on tier 3. This is 4. This is 5. Okay, so one extra. It's more than worth it. It's a, it's a, it's a trap for stupid people. <laughs> oh, they're holding up the key. Statues. This elevated statue of three magi is covered in rubble and dust. A single word is engraved on a metal plate at the foot of each statue. We must sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. four hours as well, but might as well complete his little quest. He's a librarian. One of my... Touch. Elitus is pleased to see you return! His face drops, however, when he notices the black book absent from your champion's person. Uh, I see you've got the key, but where's the book? Working on it. Oh, we actually need the... Uh, the book, huh? He can't just go there himself. Teleport. Teleport. Teleport to Mario. Wait, can't we get the candelabra? We just leave it. Just leave the candelabra. It's glowing there. Is it actually a candelabra? Kind of like a one candle candelabra. It is just a candlestick holder. Singular candlestick. So one of these opens with the clocks, the other is opens, opened with it. But which is which? I do wonder. Book. <laughs> Librarian Ski unlocks the heavy wooden door without, with a loud, crisp clank as the doors are pulled apart. A pillow of dust rushes out, covering your party, puffing and fanning the air before them. Champions enter a darkened room which illuminates by its own accord to greet them. One by one, flameless lights on the wall appear, until a moment later, their chamber sits well lit. So these are full walls, this is, we are just in Sims vision, or some shit. The room is filled with, low, with row after row of shelves, packed tightly with books, every shape, size, color, and material. You got a file on book? How's this? Are your ears too small to hear details, little man? The librarian said we couldn't miss it. Black with a red circle inlay. Think of it as a challenge, son of a Challenge, he says. Dwarf is better is to spend his time. Like jerking off menacingly while looking at corpses. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, the black book. On a regen per second. I have strengths of the Elden Druid Order could replenish their mana as quickly as they can. Oh, why did I give it to her? It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Pe previous Magi. Library's collection of very random subjects. Cunning as a practically drag. As to practically drag Eric and Whisper away, Borum finds a passage of particular interest as your party departs. Not confining all mana through the altar in the tower would save us, but we ourselves used it for daily trivial purposes. Our arrogance has done little to stop the storm. Damn. They were stupid. Skeleton. Powerful force disturbed this library long ago, whatever took place here. It seemed one person died reaching for a book atop a stone pedestal. A dostal. Anchored by a heavy chain. Leeches of the book have been burned to ash. That's the book we need, though. Fuck it. 
Find any chains and anchor to an iron pedestal. By 12 inch metal pegs. Yeah, we can measure it. Champions locate the librarian's missing black book. The book lies close to the wall, with empty nearby shelves. Strange that in such a room, making use of every bit of space, the shelves. These shelves around this book are empty. Shelves around the book. It's ruined. Your chain, though. Chain. As if the keep other books from home. Or perhaps it was simply placed here before the remaining shelves were filled. Either way, we got what it came from. Let's unchain it and return to the librarian. Wait! Johnny could whisper. Are you not going to say anything? Whatever do you mean, Forest Mage? I'm waiting for the amusement to happen. What's going on, Horns? Tell us. This book is radiating void magic, and I sense the same energies from when we encountered Shade. Remember? It's very powerful shadow constructs. It was trapped a few floors above. This book is most dangerous. Yes, we all remember that, Eric. That's strange. I mean... Kayla does not remember. She wasn't there. I wonder why exactly the librarian needs a book like this. For any of us to judge, she wants it. We agreed to fetch it. Should we not uphold our end of the agreement and fetch it for him? I guess. Some crops grow best when planted at precise times, others will not grow at all if planted at the right time of day. If you are urging caution, please, do you agree? Powers like those contained in this book could be as unstable after all. There's a reason why it lies behind. We are getting it. Shut the fuck up. For a moment, you had almost forgotten what it is like to witness your champions argue. Once again, they are arguing, and you have to fucking help them. If the app's intuitions are correct, the knowledge within may be worth the risk. On the other hand, you know not the extent of the danger the book represents. After all, someone clearly did not want it opened. It's a book. It's meant to be read. If it wasn't meant to be read, it wouldn't be. <laughs> Take it. Fuck you, Eric. An ancient tome connected to the Organte is too precious and more important than to waste. Focus your will and suggest the book be freed. Examine and taken to the librarian at first opportunity. Come and Boron make quick work of the chain, securing the tome to his pedestal. As soon as it's free of the pages, being glowing, being glowing red, light of the room diminishes. The sound of rushing air rings out. No draughts can be felt. Summoning shed. Quickly, give me the book. I warned you. Bunny hands whispered the book, and she immediately begins scanning through its pages. So, if it might, if it summons a fight, let's just remember the first flow. Where we uh, drop the bucket into the well, Lord of the Rings style, and it summoned a bunch of skeletons. And when, after we killed the skeleton, we uh, vanquished them, they're already dead, we got money. So, it might be dangerous, but it will pay. Pay well. <laughs> like breaking necks for a living. The Queen of Shadows is not familiar with these incantations and formulae, but it seems that the Magi were. If I'm reading what I can correctly, some of them were trying to create their own constructs in magic. Yeah, we had the cutscene, thanks. As the mystic shots over the loud, steady swoosh of air, books fly off the shelves, crashing into the walls, other books and some of your champions. You yeah, believe we should leave this place at once? I guess there's a force building up around us. Put it back, hurry, missus, before! It's too late! Exclamation point. Whisper screams and drops the book. Tom hits the floor. Landing in a puddle of black ooze, with even more books flying across the room, sending torn pages everywhere, a dark construct slowly emerges from the black puddle. Da 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 da. Where the fuck did these come from? Steam elite conjurers! You know what they are, but we have dark shade, and this one is not. not hurt. Being which coalesces. Coalesced from floating void energy over centuries without a mind of its own, its sole purpose is to decompose other organic beings and absorb their life essence. Consume! No, it's not the worst. Mm, it's not the worst. Even the Splash Mountains can hurt it. Fun zone. Fun ball. Fun spawns. Oh. Coalesces void energy into void spawn. And fun man. 99 health per second. 10 seconds. That's fun. Dark Shade has been freed from the magic trap trap contained in this book. Each absorbed ma absorbs magic, making a champion's damage skills very ineffective. Bullshit. Bull fucking shit. 
Rakem, over 100% fire penetration. Eric, over 100% water penetration. We are fine. Actually, he might not have 100% penetration, but still. May the light What's your penetration, Elf? 91.7% penetration for it. And look, he has water damage. And 107.4% uh, penetration. 87 armor, so the armor of this creature is not going to touch either. And this guy doesn't care about either armor or elemental or void resistances. So, yeah. Money. Not a fucking right. threat. Not a fucking threat whatsoever. <laughs> Unleash hell. Unleash hell indeed. Let's fucking go. Yes, moving! Onwards to the fray! Money Marte. Do the big shoot them. Big murder on them. Get your crits on. Money. Put that in there because it's still void damage, so it actually At goes to service. our defense as well. Ready to serve, my lord. Put all the defense. It's dead. <laughs> it's just putting on the defenses so the thorns can be stronger and it fucking dies. Gave us a tier 5 fucking fancy. Damn. Couldn't even summon its little one. Uh, maybe it did summon the steam just but they died. Just died. Hero skill damage increase, minus 50%. Oh, really? Didn't notice that. <laughs> Book cured! First, actually. Ooh, percentage armor. That is a sexy, sexy pair of pants. This needs to be forged, but we don't have forges anymore. Minus one health region, that's fine. So health, void resistance, other resistance, armor, health and mana increase. So this is perfect. It's definitely working. So we keep it. Skeleton. Skeleton. Exhausted, your champions recover the book. It lies unmoving in the puddle of the black ooze. This, is, this time it is quiet. Magic bound to it. It's gone. Book taken. We did it. What the heck would this guy want with this book? What is the meager bonus or reward? Is he? Nice turn. It is pleased to see you return. I have returned. Have you found it? Yes. Oh, by the great spirits, you did it. Tell us, where the Magi are the Magi trying to forge their own constructs from the dark recesses where the Ogante and Mel? Ah, indeed, indeed, the fool. A brain looks to your champions with surprised eyes. Foolish to meddle in such powers for dark places. And why then do you need the book? Barbarian begins scanning the book. See? Just scanning it for posterity. Just archiving. It's easy. Tripping through its pages with a sour, confused face. Where is the, uh, where is the black ooze? Uh, I killed it. It's a key to translating another work I've been trying to finish for some time. But what's this? This is not common tongue. These formulas are nothing more than ritualistic rubbish. No, no. 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 This is not what I need at all. I have to start over now. Slamming the book shut, the librarian drops the tome haphazardly to the floor before easing warmly in your champion's direction. Of course, that was no concern of yours. Read the task and will be rewarded regardless that the book is useless to me. Here, take this. And he walks off. Rukane. Away. Away he goes. Ancient Magi Ray. Magi. Mm. Oh. Skill power, what the fuck? Minus 50% skip to. <laughs> Thanks for the jams, pussy. Alright. Well. It's time, everybody. Time to say goodbye. Forever. When I return, if I return, 
from Warframe. Because now it's gonna be an endless game. Even more. Do the clock puzzle. I'm going to brute force the clock puzzle. I got 12 dials. But only five numbers they could stand on. See? You have nine, four, one, five, and three. So these three, these five numbers are the possible things. Therefore, uh, man, I forgot high school math. I don't know what the fucking actual combination number is, but it's like five times four times three times two times one or some shit. Five exclamation, like the factorial bullshit, I think. It's a lot, but we can do it. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Now I might do the rest of the challenge as well. Just for funsies. So thanks for thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the uh, the rise to power, as we call it, because it's Rockem's rise to power now. He is disgusting. Look at this. <laughs> Double skip R. Over 100 pen. Better pen than this fucker. Although this guy has all the skip R, so. Then again, if something has 150 or like 200 penetration, right? He can't hurt it. No matter how much skill power he has. But if that something has 200% skill or resistances, he can he still hurt it for 3% of his damage, which is. Yes, sure, it's nothing, but. Magic pen is more important than skip power. Which means... I somehow need to get him some pen. But I might figure it out later. Maybe I'll craft some tier 4 things with better pen or something. Oh well, goodbye.